That's one of those things, you know. Yeah, it actually is. Okay, that's locked. 98 is locked. What is the naming conventions on these doors? It's one of those things, you know. Great, there's a bunch of them. The doors, the storage cabinet are locked. Well, can we shoot it? It's one of those things. You know, I bet a nail gun could punch through that glass. You notice wall cracks peeping out from behind the cabinet. Move it? Yep. That's exactly what I thought it was, a hole. Can we move it back? No, it's one of those things, you know. There's a thing on the wall here. What's this? You open the storage cabinet and find some dihydrogen monoxide. Okay, not enough inventory space. We'll take the water. Sure, why not? Maybe we can use it against a robot or something. I'm gonna get rid of all of the... What about the spider donut? We've had this since the start of the game. Heals 12 HP. Okay, I feel like it's probably a good idea to eat this now, have a little bit of a break. Don't worry, spider didn't. HP maxed out. Good, okay, we can now take this water. You open the storage cabinet and find some dihydrogen monoxide. You got dihydrogen monoxide. What does it say? Do we actually, yeah, okay, info. Heals 20 HP. Oh, H2O, okay, I get it, H20. Chemically inclined liquid. That's funny. Okay, okay. Wow, this place is uh, comprehensive. Is that the famous red vial? No, you peer through the microscope only to find it's a telescope in disguise. No constellations or planets can be seen. How disappointing. Oh, that sucks. Two tubes, chilling. What about this? No, nothing. Howdy, what do we have here? Really, another locked door? How many unique doors are installed in this place? Talk about inconsistent. Well, I don't see a slot for your ID card. There's plenty of science equipment laying around. Maybe we can drill through with something. Start searching. Okay, we will start searching, Flowey. What is this button? Wait for correct compounds to complete the mixture. Can we? Put the H2O, no, we'll just drink it, right? We'll just drink it? What is that? Soda? Are we doing science? Are we actually doing science? I'm gonna go into the hole, obviously. Oh, that's weird. There's no clipping object on this. Oh, we probably need to put this in before we can do anything else, right? Done, put it in there. Reading! Soda and mints. Verdict declined. The deadliest mixture of them all. Yeah, okay. You shouldn't also uh, drink that, by the way. What's for dessert? Desert Eagle. In this room, there is the hardest mini game in this game, even harder than the previous boss. I don't see a slot for your big. <laughs> hey, buddy. Let's go ransack his house first. Some sort of experiment involving carefully measured liquids. Science stuff. Right, what about these books? You examine the bookshelf. A title called Mysteries of the Underground catches your eye. Read it? Sure. Chapter one, Blanco's Blunder. Located in an oasis valley in a modern cafe, you can't miss lies an arcade cabinet. Painted blue and coated with a thick layer of dust, it sits there out of order. That's gotta be the one next to Mew Mew's uh, grand um, space invaders, right? Few monsters recall seeing it up and running that might be on purpose. On the cabinet, two logos reside, Team Y and Blanco Industries. The same two human companies that created the Mew Mew Love Blaster cabinet. Ultimately, it was a commercial flop much like the Mew Mew franchise. Legends say it was playable for a time after it was recovered from the dump. Recovered by one Elphus, and only played by one Elphus. Get into my strange hole. <laughs> but its contents were unpleasant upon experience. Oh, I didn't actually expect it to be a commercial failure. You flipped in the next chapter. Continue reading? Yes. Chapter two, the path. The underground is a vast place. Throughout it are pathways and slash wall fences to lead monsters from place to place. But maybe, just maybe the paths are truly there to keep you safe. In a report from 20, a father recalled fishing with his son in Snowden Forest. As the father prepared his line, his son wandered past the fence and into the trees. The father didn't notice at first, but began to search for the child. Before I found, uh, it felt like I was in a daze, the father recounts. Just nothing out there. You flip to the next chapter. The father found his son mercilessly beaten to death by one Kara who had escaped captivity of the one and only Gaster and was wreaking havoc across the monster world. Continue reading? Sure. Chapter three, the Phantom Soul. Seven human souls are all it takes to destroy the barrier that entraps us monsters. Allegedly, allegedly. I still think that that is um, propaganda from Asgore, who is actually a notable and consistent liar throughout Undertale. You can actually call him out on a bunch of lies uh, in person as well. And 
It even cost him his marriage. I feel like Asgore is lying about what is actually required for the barrier to be broken. I think he was the one that put that there in the first place because humans allegedly don't have access to magic. So if the monster stuck the barrier up there, Asgore was leading them on to kind of like make them think it was the humans keeping them down there, but it was actually Asgore who was responsible for the entire kingdom as king who was keeping them all down there. Um, under the barrier which he was sustaining with his power. Being immortal, he's probably got a lot of power. And over time, King Asgore and the Royal Guard have assured we've reached that goal. But this process has been controversial among some residents, but war is not pleasant, says the head of the Royal Guard. Typically, when a human falls into our home, they're collected within hours. But one time, it took years. It was a typical afternoon in Snowden. Suddenly, a human was spotted in the area before swiftly fleeing for a waterfall. This, surprisingly, was the last time they were seen alive. Officials at the time said the disappearance most likely meant the human was hiding. However, the human soul was later inexplicably found deep in waterfall. You put the book back. Why? That's useful information! Ah. The Mew Mew Love Blaster was supposed to train you to shoot as the soul for the pacifist final boss? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. We already said that mechanic in the Spamton fight. There's not spoilers or anything like that. Oh my! You startled me! Nah, we can do a better voice. I know my eyes aren't what they used to be, but you aren't a machine, correct? No, I am. Huh? You look nothing like the others. I'm a model T2000. Don't pull my leg now. At my age, it might break off. This facility used to be the epicenter for innovation back in the day. In my prime, I was a chemist, a pretty good one too. That is, until they let everyone go, and I started experiencing illicit substances that I grow in the lab. We call them mushrooms, have you heard of them? Said that there were too many cooks in the kitchen, wanted to focus in. Couldn't let my passion go that easily, so I hid away when they locked up. Now I have the freedom to experiment whenever and however I damn well. God damn, please! Though, no one is around to witness my efforts. Ah, well. Later, Ligma. <laughs> I love how he hid himself back there. Is he hiding from something? He must be hiding from something, right? I thought he hid the evidence. You also used the shooting ability for the neutral final boss. He did hide the evidence. What evidence? What, and what is who hiding? What? Who was hiding what evidence? Okay, what is this? Reading. Neon. Verdict. Declined. Okay. Believed to be, but a myth until recently. Uh, what? What about AT? That is... What, arsenic tungsten? Okay. Reading. Estatine. Declined. Okay. How did you even get this? <laughs> what is this? This is... A bomb. Reading. Mustard. Oh, that's what it is. Verdict declined. Okay. This kept in a liquid or solid state of matter. All right. All oh, right, because mustard gas is against the Geneva Convention. That's funny. Okay, we've got some sugar here, I think. Or salt. Reading. Sodium. That's salt. Verdict. Declined. An essential part of any balanced breakfast. Yeah, like I said, you got to stick it on your eggs after you're done cooking them. You said the body was hidden in the waterfall. The book implies the person died in the waterfall. Something's wrong. Yeah, it's also a fan game. And this is what happens every single time two writers who don't compare notes um, kind of like release games without talking to each other. Hydrogen. Verdict. Accept it. Ooh, the lightest and most prevalent element in the universe. Good. Okay, we are still missing compound two, which I think is going to be tomato sauce. Is this right? Or do we need the famous blue liquid? Reading. Ketchup. Oh, that's what people call it around the world, right? Good for bringing that dog from a 7 to a 10. Why did dog have a, uh, an apostrophe? You sense great tension between these two tubes. Always wash your hands before handling life-threatening chemicals. And always wash your hands after, because that's what makes them life-threatening. There's another microscope here. You peer through the microscope. Just a bunch of cells being cellular. Oh, well. Who do you, fam? What is this? Is this tungsten? Titanium? Is it a cake tin? Titanium. Verdict. Declined. Okay. What all robots will be made out, of, made out of when they overtake the world. Titanium is also really heavy, so it's highly unlikely they're going to be made out of titanium. Let's face it. What is this? But Is this hydrogen? Like balloons? To my knowledge, Axis hid the tutu in the ballet shoes and took the soul to Asgore, along with the body, I think. Since it's an undertale, you can see that the humans are all put in caskets. 
Yeah, they, were, they could also have been honorary caskets that were made post-mortem to honor the dead children. We also see a bunch of vacuum flasks, which are highly likely to have actually contained the souls, right? Because there's, that, that was Metaton was made for, right? And in Undertale Yellow, we don't have any mention of the base game creatures, so how are we actually relating this to Undertale in any way, shape, or form? Does this actually build off of Undertale if none of the events of Undertale are even mentioned in this game, aside from tiny little easter eggs, which also include Deltarune, which then reduces the level of canonicity that this game actually does have? Helium. Eh. Declined. Makes your voice sound funny. It does, doesn't it? I've been held a little bit of helium in my time. It doesn't give you a nice high like everyone assumes. This is a party popper. Is this a confetti emoji? But that's what I was talking about when it comes to uh, people like just parroting. It is a party popper. Okay, declined. When pe people are parroting YouTuber theories, then unfortunately the waters get muddy because all of these game, these fan games, they come into the mix and a lot of people start basing theories off of them that would otherwise be directed to the main game. And that's one of the big issues. I mean, that is true because we never see the bodies in the caskets since they're all closed. Yeah, and we also see the... We also see the vacuum flask and we have direct evidence that says Metaton was made initially for the purpose of killing humans and stuffing their souls into those vacuum flasks and then a ghost inhabited Metaton and it became the, the whole kind of like uh, fruity uh, showman that you see in the game. But we don't even get to see the waterfall in this, so we don't even know if there is the tutu and ballet shoes in this game, right? There is no waterfall in this game. What run is this? Uh, we're playing a neutral run. I have not played this game before. The element of surprise. Uh, oh my god, that's funny. Party popper, the element of surprise. Oh, I should have read that. What about this bin? Can we put that in there? You reach into the trash can. You pull out a crumbled up essay titled Mixing It Up. It's typed in size 13 font to better reach the minimum page requirement of one. You stash the essay in your mailbag. Okay, let's read this. This is probably essential, right? Oh, we also have our ID right here. Nice! That is us! Excellent. Hopefully nobody actually checks that. Mail. Mixing it up by Dr. Rob. Entering the field of chemistry can be tough. Maybe you never went to college. Maybe you find it hard to grasp complex equations. Maybe you're kicked out of your high school science class for developing poison during school hours. We're all different, but we all share one similarity. Magic. It's easy to rely on magic in the... In the day... It's easy to rely on magic in the... In the day-to-day... It's easy to rely on magic in the, in the day-to-day. -day. Okay, that was a bit of an oversight. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to live without it? What if we could, what, <laughs> that one sentence just screwed me over real bad. What would we do if we couldn't light a fireplace with the snap of our fingers, spawn weapons out of thin air, use wings to soar above the trees, sleep? Well, medication would be that last solution there. That's where science comes in. Nature's magic, elements, or compounds make up most of the underground. Actually, a stick would probably solve all of that as well. If you couldn't light a fireplace, use a stick. Spawn weapons out of thin air. Mongo bonk. Use wings to soar above the trees. You'll probably make one of those Wright Brothers planes out of sticks. Sleep. Mongo bonk. That works. That'll do the trick. I'm going to bed. Okay, that was great to see you, Liam the Destroyer.690. Uh, weird. Weird of you to come and ask what run it is and then leave. Okay, nature's magic. Elements or compounds make up most of the underground as we know it. When you combine two or more compounds, you can create amazing things. For example, by taking the compound oxygen and smashing it together with two hydrogen compounds, you get dihydrogen oxide, also known as water. Catchy name, right? Here, you try. Let's say you want to melt through a high security safe to become rich. Hypothetically, the solution you would need is called hydrochloric acid, which involves the two compounds... Uh... Chlorine and hydrogen, right? Fill in the blanks and empty the banks. There you go, done. D, unfocused and rush. Why did you write a worksheet problem in a reflective essay? Nice. Yeah, you you tell them, whoever you are. Whoever's grading this, you tell them. Did someone talk to me? No. I don't look too, into too much of the law, but I know Metaton is canonically a ghost who's corporeal with a robot. Besides that, I don't know much about Metaton before that. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. That was my um takeaway. That was absolutely my takeaway. So we don't actually kind of like have evidence of any of this being related to the original Undertale. As far as I'm aware, this is just like a, a, a decent, a really decent entry into fan games. Parmesan Red Pepper, it's declined. The third most Italian famous duo. 
All right, so we probably need the famous blue liquid then, right? Oh, right, we need chlorine now. Okay, I got you. That's what was on the worksheet. That's what we need to make to get through that door at the back there. It's probably this famous blue liquid, right? It's the famous blue juice. I don't see chlorine anywhere, unfortunately. Nothing in here. I don't think we can get into this door here. Okay, don't drink anything. Fine. Now that you've ever been shy of eating discarded garbage. That is true. I did drink um, shaving oil in this stream right here. Drink the poison? No. <laughs> what? Why? Why would I? Why would I actively drink a poison? My dude. My first realization wasn't looking into the law, but when I bought the mysterious key from Brady and Caddy used on the house next to Napster Blue's house, which gave a lot of evidence. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much exactly Metaton's entire backstory. So before they were sentient, they were just a robot with the sole purpose of removing the the kind of like moral element from executions. That's essentially what it was built for. It was to execute people. Okay, so one of these hydrogen goes in. Whoops, I dropped it. Embarrassing. Looks like we can't run in here. Hmm. All right, so that's the first one we need. Metaton Law. Yeah, we get Metaton Law in the um, base game of Undertale, which is not prevalent nor canonical in this game whatsoever. What about these? Oh, I've got chlorine. I just dumped it on my head from that weird workshop. That was lucky. Weird. Reading. Chlorine. Verdict accepted. Yes, sir. Useful for cleaning pools of water. Even hot pools on mountaintops. I'm not sure that's true, actually. Burning process. Mixing initialized. Okay. We have to reach the target compound by mixing. Two. One. Mix! Oh my god. What in the hell? This is almost impossible on a controller. Okay, I'm using the uh, directional keys. Are there more? Yep, okay, this is damn, I can, I'm just gonna use the keyboard. Screw it. I can do this with the keyboard. I played Tank Busters once, whoops. <laughs> I say whiffing that one hit, that one really, really easy hit, whoops, right in the corner, done. Oh my God, why aren't there more games like this around? Oh, that's right, they're frustrating and hadn't waged well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I can't believe someone actually put a tank game into uh, Undertale No one asked for this No one wanted this What are you, are you serious Come off it Okay fine Okay still taking a wee while Still adjusting to the keyboard Nope Nothing Nothing Almost So close Whoops There we go Oop, I broke it there we go. Uh, up, oh, almost, almost. Up, uh, almost, so close. Oh, so close, so close, so close. There we go. Whoops. I'm getting a little bit twitchy. Whoops, I just ran straight into the wall on that one. Whoops. Whiff that first one. This is basically luck. Unless you, like, grew up playing these games, this is essentially luck. Okay. Went straight into the wall, straight into the side there. Oh, it does actually carry in the direction. Okay, so we can just tap. Good. All right, all right, all right. I'll put the goddamn controller down. Let's actually try this. Can we use the wasp? No. Okay. Let's try this. Yep, okay. Oh, damn it. We can actually give ourselves a little bit more time kind of like by backtracking a little bit as well. But why the hell would we want to do that? That's just another moving part. Ah. Okay, yep, good. Oh, so close. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, it's that little fiddly gap we gotta get around there. There's a little maneuver I'm not really looking forward to on the other side of the map as well, so. Oh, so close, here we go. Let's go, oh, uh, ran to the wall on that one. Excellent. Okay, ran to the wall on that one too. Oh, with that one, here we go. Nice! Ah, oh, straight off the bat. Okay, almost got it, this way. Almost, so close. Okay, close, yep. Okay. I should not be playing this with tendonitis. I should really not be playing. The reason I'm playing this in the first place, all of the games that I put up into the Friday vote, uh, which is why we're playing this right now, are all based around me being able to play them on a controller. Because I got a little bit of tendonitis. I'm really depressed, actually. I I used to go to the gym six times a week, and now I can't go at all because I got this uh, horrible little issue with my wrists. Okay, with that one. Here we go. So I should not be playing this. 
I should really not be playing this whatsoever. In fact, I'm probably actually gonna have to stop playing this if I can't get through this here. I'm already feeling like the tension building up in the wrists. So I've kind of like undone two weeks of physical therapy right now already. That's not amazing. Oh, here we go. Oop. Okay, I gotta go back to the controller. Here we go. Uh, nope, nothing. This way. Okay, good. Uh, up. Up and through here. Good. Whoops. Thank you, Bluetooth. I actually did press the button at the right time in that one. All right, good. Nope. I love how the, like, um, you can actually see the arrow flipping around to redirect the little wingle dingle here. But it still registers as a hit in the game. It's still like, nah, we're not going to count that one. Like, I've probably lost half of these two just being a little bit too late, obviously. Whoop. That sucks. Oh, missed that one too. Okay, almost. Very close. Okay, nope. Almost. Almost. Ow. <sighs> this is the hardest minigame ever? It's not that, honestly that hard. I just have some uh, physio issues with my wrists right now. I got uh, something called tendonitis, which is um, really bad. It's where all the tendons in your forearm kind of like clamp up and they give you technical failure in your fingers, which you do not ever want. You do not ever want technical failure on your ligaments or tendons. That is a huge bad thing. Okay, bad. I'm getting a little bit of it now, actually. Okay, come down here. Yep, finally. Can't whiff this. Okay, good. That's a shame. Come down here. And keep on coming down. Okay. Coming on all the way through. Oh my god, my wrist is actually starting to cramp up real bad. It's the hardest mini game ever. It's so unforgiving. Has Metaton actually killed and captured any humans in the past? Though? Yeah, he bottled up their souls. That's how far we got to them. World's true hardest game. No, this, this is... Like, make no mistake. This is all um, skill issue, right? None of this is uh, because the minigame is difficult. This is, this is doable. It's just I have an, an issue with my ligaments, which I, I can't even go to the gym with at the moment these days. I can't even do squats on a squat rack because I get technical failure while I'm holding the bar on my shoulders and not even lifting anything, which is just rude. Okay, that was, again, a little bit of failure on my fingers there. Okay, good. Nothing there. Okay, gonna keep on going here. This is not an accessible game. Okay, good. I hope nobody with a, like, dis Oh my God, are you taking the piss? I hope nobody with a disability actually ends up playing this. Skill noob? Okay, that's a little bit rude. Okay, good. We almost made it. Okay, good. And here we go. Okay, with that one. We're so close on one of them. Just slightly too early on that turn. We probably didn't even need to turn, realistically. Okay, ow. Ow. <sighs> Rage, no, pain. It's literally pain. If you guys Google tendonitis, you'll be able to figure out exactly what I'm dealing with while I'm playing this. Which is why I'm playing it on a controller. I, I am not using the keyboard because of... It's very similar to Carpal Tunnel, but permanent. Picture Carpal Tunnel, but it's like... Real, real nasty. Affects your entire arms. And it's permanent. Okay, good. Nothing. Nothing there. Good. Okay. We've made it out of the... Whoa. Nastiest of the wood. Okay. I got technical failure right there. One of the longest streams? No, it actually isn't. This is not by far not one of the longest streams. It'd be uh, nicer if this wasn't so loud, though. <laughs> Am I right? This is really noisy. It's almost like a jump scare every time you cock it up. Okay, I'll oh, technical failure again. Oh, my thumb isn't working. Hold up. <laughs> oh! All right. I'm literally giving my body to the dedication of a fan game. Oh my god. Okay, with that one, so close. Like, I don't know if anybody here has actually ever had like carpal tunnel or tendonitis or anything like that before, but the pain shoots right up your triceps and up into your shoulder. It uh, like gets your neck to kind of stiffen up too. It's nasty, it's a big nasty one. It's like muscle parasites in a way. Okay, good. Let's try again. You never miss what you never had, right? 
Okay, good. Okay, ow. <laughs> that last one was more of a hurt the pride thing than a than a my my hands are failing me. Okay, good. Made it all the way around there. Excellent. Love that for us. Okay, good. Okay, good. Come on, coming up here. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay, we'll come up here next. Excellent. Okay, that is the hardest part done. Never mind, I whiffed the shot. Okay, come on down here next. Whoops. All right, we'll come up. Keep on uh, mistiming it. I love the music. If the music sucked, I'd probably be a lot angrier than I am right now. But it doesn't. The music doesn't actually suck. It's kind of... It's cute. It's, it makes me feel like I'm playing like Stardew Valley or something like that. Okay, that's not good. Oops. Failure on my thumb again. There you go. And all the way around. Oh, nope. We're just going to hit that wall. Uh, hit it a little bit too early. So if I bump into a wall and it's a little bit too early, that is generally where I kind of like... That, that's skill issue. That's obvious skill issue. Or it could be the latency on my controller. I'm using Bluetooth. But when I do it too late, it's because my thumb is my thumb is physically failing to actually press the button because of the tendonitis. Okay, good. I'm flexing real hard now, by the way. Oh, that was tendonitis. That was tendonitis too. Got me there. Good. Get all of this done and dusted. Oh, uh, that was tendonitis. Music's not bad. I know I'm not the one playing, but I really want to cry right now. 5,000 years later. 11 hours later. Honestly, I'd probably hope for 5,000 years later, right? Yep. That was skill issue. That was tendonitis right there. Come on, guys. You are literally watching somebody with a disability play a hard game for the sake of uh, being able to beat a hard game. Okay, with that one. Good. Tendonitis again. Got me. Excellent. Okay. Got around the hard bit. And we hit that wall. Excellent. Nice. We'll come along here next. Okay, good. So close. Oh, so close. Okay, we'll come over here. And we'll get up here. That was tendonitis. And we'll keep on going. You guys are seeing kind of like... I think every single time we've died so... F well, aside from that one. Every single time for like 10 goes in a row, we died with the arrow facing in the direction we actually wanted to go in. I don't know if you guys can see it. Just like a sp It's a split millisecond... As we're dying, the arrow faces the way we actually want to go. Which is a little bit rude. Okay, good. Because that would be the game registering, hey, you're inside the hitbox. Does the game always have to has to do a check to see whether or not you're actually outside the boundaries of the parameters that you're allowed to play in? That's how these games work. Oop, that was tendonitis. Oop, that was not tendonitis. That was just uh, too late. Alright, that was too early. Excellent. Nice. Good. Okay, we're hitting all of these. Good. Okay, that was tendonitis. Failure on my part. Good. And we're around the first bit. Nice. And we hit that wall. Nope, almost. So close. Good. Oh, tendonitis got me right there. That was a shame. That was a real shame. Come on, coming along. And... Whoops. Okay, good. And come down here. Good. Whoops. Went into the wall. That was my bad. Oh well. At least I'm not like on a time limit or anything. That would genuinely piss me off. If I was on a time limit for this or I had to deal with any kind of like quick time events in addition to this gameplay, that would piss me off so bad. Okay. Come on through here. And come down here. Nope. We're going to go into that wall, it seems. Whoops. That was tendonitis. Here we go. That was uh, just mistimed. That was unfair. Alright, good. Come down here. Excellent. Come down. Whoops. Tendonitis got me. Are you Spamton or Crichton? How do you even get tendonitis? Uh, it is a long-term overtime sports injury, and it's a real nasty one. So if you do a lot of real heavy lifting uh, without properly conditioning your wrists first, uh, you're probably going to get tendonitis. You just got to do rest for up to a month and a half, which really, even that depresses me because... I go to the gym to kind of like blow off steam and now I don't have that outlet so I'm kind of having to bottle up a lot of my anger and believe me I've had a life that deserves my lifestyle to be angry. Nothing like a little bit of childhood trauma to get you in the mood, right? Okay. So close. 
Oh, that was close as well. Come up here. Now, it's just a, it's just a sports injury. It does happen pretty frequently, but I also have a, um, a condition called neurogenic fatigue, which makes me immunocompromised, so I'm probably more susceptible to things like tendinitis anyway, because it's all about whether or not your body can replenish cells fast enough, and my body very consistently just cannot. So when I get sick, I stay sick for a month. If I get a head cold, it's going to stick with me for a whole month. I just got to get used to it. I got run to the wall there. Thank you, tendinitis. Got me right there. Right at the end. Excellent. Okay, so close. I imagine this is the last one, right? Because if not, I'm probably going to have to open up a cheat engine and use some kind of speed hack on this. Because there is no way I could do another level of this. I, I'm in a lot of pain right now, to be quite honest. But since I don't get to go to the gym, woo! Outlet! Outlet for anger! Pain is beauty. Good. Okay. Right. Run to that wall right there. Okay. We'll keep on going. I don't know why that was a failure. It was, we were way under where we should have died. Oops. Okay. Why are we manually doing this, by the way? Why, why isn't the computer doing this for us? Okay, good. Come down here next. Up. Good. And... Nailed it! Done. Ooh. Limited lives, die too much and you go back to level one. Good thing it ain't a feature. Yeah, that would actually, I would just stop playing the game if that was actually a thing. Speed hacks, make yourself slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Congratulations. Uh, do you guys mind if I like take a bit of a break to condition my li my wrist real quickly? I hope no one minds. I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. It's, <laughs> ah, that really hurt. <laughs> oh, this is what sports injuries look like, by the way. Been resting and listening? Oh, that's awesome to hear. Take your time. Thank you so much, guys. You're good, bro. Awesome. Okay. So, we beat it. We did beat it. We beat it through attrition. I didn't even yell and scream, but we did actually end up beating it. It was, it was just fantastic. Ooh, that's a stretch. Take a break? No, nah, we don't take breaks on the stream. I just need to uh, get my wrists basically limbered up after that. Drink some water. I got water here. Got lots of water here. My stretches probably look really weird, right? I did a lot of martial arts. So these are the ones that I usually end up doing. Okay. Some dragon stuff as well. It's over? Yeah, 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 it's over. It's over. Woo! How are we all feeling, by the way? I know it's probably actually getting pretty late in the stream. I can't believe I actually sat there and just finished that. Spamton? More like nice tenth. Is Spamton even in this game? I got water pulls out potion and starts aggressively chugging. <laughs> no, I actually do got water. I got water right here. Nice big jar of water. Okay. Let's continue onwards. Nice. That is my superpower. My my superpower is literally attrition. Okay, not enough space. What can we get rid of? We could probably just eat some flower stew. That'd be gross. You make sure flower isn't watching before trying it. Mmm. Junky. HP max out. Well, that thing's pretty good, huh? Take the acid? Yes, we'll take the acid. Oh. Okay, let's pour this acid over this door right over here. What is going on? Well done, Glover. That stuff just might melt the lock. Oh no, he didn't just see me drink that soup, did he? Make sure it be extra careful handling it. No. I'm gonna throw it. A complex lock mechanism blocks your acid. What could open it up? How about a glass of acid? Use the acid to acid away the door. Does it work? Nice. Hello. I had trouble locating you after our last encounter. Worry no more, I have located you. My last plan did not work, so I will try something new. I just found this highly corrosive concoction. I would like to apply it on your skin. Will you be my test subject? Sure. Correct decision. Allow me to terminate the core first. You can't get it off, I bet. It is tough to open containers when my only point of force is at the back of my hands. Almost have it. He's gonna drop it, right? <laughs> Shoot. Do not fret, I will retrieve another tube. Huh. How the tables turn. Oh, how the turntables. Oh, I just realized it says on here, complete. Enjoy your deadly acid. Uh, do we go down the hole? Probably not, right? Uh, can we actually go through the... Yes, we can. Okay, excellent. Ooh. 
You didn't drink the acid? No, we didn't drink the acid. Come on, man. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. All right, there's a rubber duck again. Howdy. Just when I thought Axis couldn't get any more clumsy. Glad he's gone. It's down to us yet again, the unwavering duo. We do work well as a team, don't you think? Flowey, the brains, and sea lover, the brawn. Not saying you aren't smart, of course. Uh, watching you solve puzzles has been a treat. I bet you really enjoyed watching me solve that last little tank control puzzle there. Flowey, would've been thrilling. You peer through the microscope. You discover a pocket dimension buried in the microverse. Oh no, that's not good. I am trying to grow energy plants, but I always end up with these leafy things. They smell like honey and won't stop making trumpet noises. <laughs> Why does this keep my happening to me? <laughs> keep making trumpet noises. I love that so much. Hydrochloric? Yeah, it was hydrochloric acid. I would have personally used thermite, which is like equal parts uh, uh, phosphorus and rust. Hi, lovely. What's good? Okay. Yin Sid is going to be sitting behind the green screen, everybody. She'll be able to uh, feel what you say. Oh, she's also got her calm cow with me. Did you see that stream? Oh, okay, good. Uh, the energy plant emits a heavy glow. You fight the urge to taste it. <laughs> dude, dude, the ship escaped. The hell is out here? Is this a server rack? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, so I imagine going in here is going to be the next objective, right? The door won't budge. Okay, there's a little QR code here. Help wanted for a project. Steam! Are you a monster with an above average IQ? I like to think I am, actually. I like to think I am. I've worked with sim something similar to thermite. Yeah, I've, I've used literal thermite before. Uh, when you're in construction and you really, really need a piece of rebar real fast, Sometimes when you don't have a grinder, uh, thermite is actually the thing we use. And here's the thing, right? If you're gonna have really, really hot things that just absolutely explode into flames and create a really hot heat um, at a single point, don't put it on concrete because that concrete will pull in um, basically water from the air and then explode. It's crazy. It's dry, it expands and explodes slowly. Oh, nice. Okay. Probably not. But in case you are, we need your knowledge. Gang Asgore has called on the greatest monster minds to help develop a society. Scientists, engineers, mathematicians, janitors, you name it. Sign up at the King's Settlement and make your way southeast. You'll know when you've arrived, when you see a metallic construction site. The Steamworks tomorrow means the surface. Okay, it doesn't though. That's not actually what it means. What is this? Swipe your ID? Yes. I drew that. <laughs> I drew that, guys. I'm talking about concrete. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Concrete is red. It's, it's very volatile when it comes to really, really hot things. Okay, we've got two guys might come after us. I'm going to kill the goosek. Boom. Okay, I missed my shot. I see your moves. I get it. I get it. What the hell? Slippery floor. This is an annoying fight. Okay, I just took that one. I took that one, too. Ah. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this thing right in its face. Okay, we got three shots off. Okay, I see your moves. I get it. Ah. 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 Okay, we win. The Gendroid rings out their mop. I'm going to shoot... Oh, my God. This mechanic is... It really gives you no warning, which I find probably to be a little counterintuitive. Like, it literally gives you no warning before you actually have to start your own attack cycle. Which is why I keep saying it's probably the hardest part of the game. At least in Undertale and Deltarune, it gives you a little bit of time before it starts. Breeze the crowd. It's concert time. Yeah, you're telling me, my dude. Okay, we'll take that one straight to the face, I suppose. And also that one. Why not? Okay, we'll take that one too. Right, we are taking every single hit humanly possible on that one. Uh, I'm still going to kill this thing. Okay, we whipped our shot again. Why don't they give you, like, just a split second before it actually starts the attack? It makes no sense to me why that would actually be a thing. Okay, I am dodging, diving, ducking, and uh, dodging those here attacks. Done. Okay, we've killed whatever that thing is. Done. Wow, seriously? Yep. Okay, so this thing is really... That is way worse. Well, we could have just had, hung out there. Jandroid will never forgive you as long as you walk the earth. Okay, well, I'm off. Bye-bye. 
So what's the origin reason for saying Sea Lover instead of Clover? Because that's her name. She's Sea Lover. Oh, this is ominous. This is really ominous. The elevator is unresponsive. Okay. So we can't use it. Ugg piss! That's what I like to see. We've got the Ugg piss back on our sides. Greetings, hello, how do you do? I have a very special letter just for you. Why so sudden without a ring? Because priority mail is what I bring. You received mail, great. Make sure to read it before I flee. The one who sent it paid a premium fee. Two Clover, who's hopefully alive. Meet me on the roof of Ugg Apartments as soon as you can. There's something on my mind. Martlet of the Royal Guard, Snowden Division. Oh, she even left us some feathers. That's like, oh my God, if you send like a, a message to someone, you rip some of your hair out and you put it in the envelope as kind of like a, 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 a thank you, a thank you for reading. That's what she just did. Creepy. Hope my speedy service helped you out. The Ugg piss always delivers without a doubt. Well, we need that here in New Zealand because I can assure you there are so many courier companies that just refuse to deliver packages based on stupid stuff. I don't think we've got any other notes. All right, what's this? This is a big green screen. I've got one of those behind me. A daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status, functioning 78%. Awaiting input. Main directory, uh, docs. Error, information classified. Oh, can we swipe our card? Awaiting input. Okay, all of it's awaiting input. Info, Steam Workstation R, system. OS Delta version, okay. Operating system Delta Rune version 1.4 installed in the 20th. Processor Ultra McTurbo Core 180.5 gigahertz. Yuck! Oh, that's 180 cores. That is so much higher than everyone else's. Usually you have eight cores in a CPU. Some you can get higher these days, but generally people have eight eight cores, eight threads in their cores. And uh, 0.5 gigahertz is just really bad efficiency. Installed physical memory 500 megabytes. That's also crap. Graphics card, error. Robotics control status, functioning at 78%. Okay. Oops, I did not want, oh, ha ha. Okay, at least we have kind of like a skip button right here. Oh, you're up to this part? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what else is 24 inches thick? His ID, oh yes it is. We're working on a 24 inch thick concrete bank fault with more rebar possibly necessary. Ah, uh, there's no such thing. There is literally no such thing as uh, too much rebar when you're, when you're making something thick uh, to be uh, reinforced. Okay, pictures. Loading. Estimated time remaining. Nine hours. Oh my god, this takes me all the way back to 2002. <laughs> we had dial-up here in New Zealand in 2002. We actually didn't get rid of dial-up until around about 2005 or so. Games. Loading. Feature blocked. Oh, custom message. Trying to play video games on the job? Please report to the head office. We have a pink colored gift for you. Robotics control status. Functioning at 70%. Okay. Okay, I did not want to open that one up again. Why is the one with the longest screen at the top? Settings. Select your option. Emergency shutdown. Shut down all helper bots within the vicinity? Yes. Attempting shutdown. Hacker man! Error. Could not complete task. That's embarrassing. Just kidding! Emergency shutdown complete. Great! It was from 1927? What, the bank vault? Jesus, man, you are old. Make, make sure you like the video for the algorithm. Doesn't actually do anything for the algorithm, believe it or not. Uh, the like and dislike button, that's not for me. That's for you guys. If you guys like the video, you can let me know to make more content like this by liking the video. Or, alternatively, you can shadow block my channel from turning up in your feed by hitting the dislike button, which is what a lot of people tend to spitefully do after I cuss them out on stream for being dickheads or uh, self-promoting all of their stuff without, you know, saying anything first. Howdy! Looks like things are heating up. Literally, that is. Since you shut the bots down, it should be an easy stroll to the exit. But just in case, I'd like to give you a little gift. From your best friend. Is it a poo? Was it a fart? I think it's time you try your hand at wielding the pellets. Sure, you can use rubber, silver, nails, whatever. There was silver? Oh! But these are the real deal. It's fully up to you, but I just wanted to let you know. Our partnership means a lot to me. Good luck, sea lover. Okay, good. I'm gonna take these here pellets. Take the friendliness pellets. Wait! If we kill Asgore with Flowey's pellets, doesn't Flowey get all of the souls? W Flowey? Is it though? I mean, I'm gonna take them, obviously. But I suspect that he's trying to pull one over our face. Whatever lies ahead, I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. Go get him! 
Okay. Thanks a bunch of you, you bloody dickhead. What's this? You spot some gravity granola inside the machine. Take it. Not enough space. Okay, okay. What should we eat? Probably this trail mix, right? Let's see. Trail mix heals 13 HP. Everything but the raisins have been picked out. Ugh, brother, ugh, it's a bag of raisins. You down the bag of raisins. All you taste are dried grapes. HP maxed out. Okay, great. We are going to take the gravity granola now. I hope it's better. I don't actually know. And to skip having to do all of that, I'm also going to save over Flowey. Yep. I'm going to try and do it without Flowey's pallets initially. I feel like Flowey is trying to get us to do something we don't actually want to do. My life is life. Oh, that's just something that just happens. Main power source not found. A lot of people spread misinformation about the algorithm, but essentially you can help YouTube understand what your channel is to better promote it to the intended audience. But what you can't do is abuse the algorithm to have it just spread out across everybody. Stewie? No, I'm, I'm Jensen. I'm Jensen. Initiating emergency backup power. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on! You have angered me greatly! Why I've had it with you doing nothing as I feel! Over and over! Do you know how hard it was to get the acid out of my seal? I had to put myself in a washing machine! It was quite dizzying! Though I do feel, as the kids say, FRESH AS HELL! Anyway! If you cannot tell, I am ticked off and out of non-lethal options! That and this furnace has a nice time to tie a spedic to it. So prepare yourself, I am attacking now. Well, that was a lackluster fart. What? My programming is preventing me from attack! It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest! Ah, oh, forget this! Here, yeah, I will make you a threat. Hold this, it suits you. There, now you have a drawn weapon! Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? Your crimes end here, human! Access model 014, ready to attack. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this dickhead right in his, right in his face. Oh, damn it, I only got three of them off. Oh, well. We'll dodge all of us. What the hell are we, are we collecting things? What are you doing with that lead? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating! Is it? It seems like I'm I'm using something to my advantage though, right? 47, I'm happy with that. Boop. Okay, I don't want to be hit by any of those lumps. Oh my god, I'm bad at that. Ooh. You feel the furnace's heat waves engulf you. Okay, well, maybe this guy's about to feel the bullets engulf him. 61, I'm happy with that. This slaps. Is this supposed to be like Megalovania 2.0? Jesus Christ! Okay, they're thickens. We're gonna have to get really, really good at catching those things, I think. Good. Okay, good. So this one is absolutely fine. It's the bounces that I really struggle with, honestly. Oh no, he's pissed off. What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do about it? Oh! Do we take... Do we take damage from that? I don't know. I don't know if we were supposed to actually uh, catch that. Whoops. All right. Are we catching this? What are we doing with this? Oh, I see. Okay. It's now a game of breaker. Gotcha. What was that? What did I say? Jump is not a word. Why did I say that? Because you wanted to. Bang. Okay. 28. It's still better than nothing. Oh, no. We've been grabbed. Oh, this again. Oh, piss off. It's stupid. Con These are the stupidest controls for this minigame I have ever seen. Pivoting sideways is just revolting. I've also just realized that um, when we hit the circle, there's actually a difference between the uh, hitting the center fire and also hitting the rim fire. Okay, well, those mechanics were just annoying. You're supposed to collect them or you take damage? Okay, brush yourself off, Clover. It's time to put the axe in axes. Okay, we'll definitely do it. Yeah, this song is awesome, isn't it? Would I say that this beats Guns Blazing is better than Metal Crusher? Okay. You said the raisins thing? <sighs> we did, no, we did not put the pellets in the gun. Maybe I make sure friendliness pellets and even peepees and I throw them at my friends who play Undertale and Delta Room. Disgusting. This beat is fire, it is fire, isn't it? Okay. We now know relative, oh, piss off. We just whipped the first attack. Okay, fine. 
So this one's actually not so bad. What are you doing with that lid? It's not supposed to be useful. That is not cheating. That is the intended mechanic. Yeah, so there is a difference between center fire cartridges and rim fire cartridges. And the difference is... Okay, this is kind of frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is that the center fire cartridges are more expensive usually. Uh, the strike plate is in the center of the cartridge, the bullet, and it makes rounds incredibly accurate, right? It rifles them perfectly. But rim fires are much cheaper. You can get lots of them. So they're better for like SMGs and assault rifles and stuff like that. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Three rim fires? No. Nope. Okay. We got two rim fires and three center fires, which is pretty nice. All right, it kind of clicked, kind of clicked, kind of clicked. Gotcha. All right, let's fire this back at this dickwad. Eat lit, dickhead. Got him. Okay, good. Let's skip all of this dialogue because I'm not really interested. Three rim fires. That's it. Just three rim fires. Okay. I'm going to have to actually use the keyboard for this one. The old spin controls are really gross. I do not like it, Sam. I am. I do not like PPs and spam tin. Okay, the next shot. Oh, he's also got a battery meter. Good to know. Access seems on edge. Okay, let's uh, confirm his suspicions by firing a bunch of rim fires and center fires into his mainframe. Done. Is it pipped? I did again. How? Wait, this is your doing. Of course it is. Do not shock me again, okay? Did he attack us? He's flipping through the royal guard book in his mind. That's cute. Cute that he thinks that any kind of... Any kind of book is going to save him from our 69s. All right, perfect. I like this one. All right, good. Excellent. Oh, this one's actually rough. What? I like this. This is cool. This is a really cool fight. Axis pinches the end of one of his gloves and releases the air. He finds it amusing. That's weird. Bang, 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 bang. They kind of go in threes. The bullets. They, they kind of get spawned in lots of threes. Okay, we gotta always be moving. We gotta always be moving. What the hell? Seriously, game? Come on. Okay, good. I'm gonna fire another ball at him. Bazinga! I didn't even move. I didn't even move. I am starting to regret giving you that lid. Could you please drop it? Just kick it into the fiery pit below us. Simple. Okay, bang, 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 bang. Lots of threes, and we got six center fires. That is a big number, 84 right there. Oh, what? Come off it. What kind of warning did I get for that? Uh, we're probably going to have to heal in the next area. Axis thinks his music is a bit intense for his tastes. Good. This is my time to shine. Excellent. 67? I'm happy with that. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of these bombs, right? They're not actually that hard to get rid of. I thought they were going to be significantly worse. Okay, good. We'll get, like, below 10 HP before we actually start healing, and then we should be in a really, really good spot. Just like Undertale. Just like how we played Undertale. Are we... Do we even move in this in this phase right here? Yeah, we do actually have to move in this phase right here. All right, good. Done. Go on. Shoot your load into me. Shoot your load into me, good sir. Okay, missed that one. Axis is flipping through the Royal Guard handbook in his head. Okay, I'll whiff that one. All right, we're gonna try and fire this back at him, right? Bazinga! Oh, so close. Okay. Bang, 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 three rim fires. Oh, five rim fires, that's not very good at all. Bazinga, that is enough! Unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators, infinite battery. Good luck! Well, good thing I wasn't playing the power game. X is having trouble charging up his next attack. Good, because we don't have to charge anything up. All we have to do is not half cock our guns. What? Zero? Oh, right. Okay. Okay, I thought that maybe we could uh, deflect some damage by going through those orange lines, but it seems like that's not the case. Okay, we'll eat this fruitcake. You scarf down the fruitcake. The swelter stone's burning your throat. You recover 25 HP. Great. Uh, this is gross. I don't like the Sam I am. I do not like these bombs that are being spammed. Okay, that works. Excellent. And it doesn't matter. We're just going to keep on going on like it's not doing anything. Okay, we don't want to hit him. Axis blows onto one of his vents to clean some dust. You don't know how. Yeah, I'll say. 
Okay, so we can't fight his generators. We probably just have to fire a ball of death at them, right? So let's go ahead and just use another healing item. Nice, the syrup is very sweet. You recovered 16 HP. Cash money. I love that. Ah, good. Let's kind of like angle it like this. And then we'll kind of cut it sideways. Okay, it did nothing. X is having a trouble charging up his next attack. That's fine. I'm really struggling to land hits here. That did nothing because it's got two generators. Okay. Hopefully we can just like send this like this. Is that bisected? No, it just went straight to him. What? We weren't angling anything. The physics isn't physicking. This is not Euclidean. There's no Euclid here. Okay, we probably have to get him to fire it down here and then also move when it hits us. Yeah, okay, that is actually the strategy. Gotcha! Okay, it doesn't matter if we land an attack or not. I'm just going to skip through that attack phase. Let's go over to this corner right here. And... Boom! Oh, it doesn't work as well as I'd hoped. Smells like an unfortunate barbecue. Nice. Okay. What if you go upwards? Uh, we can't go upwards. We're tied to the bottom of this thing. Why does it bounce back like that? That is so stupid. If we have a flat surface, it should be bouncing the opposite way. You gotta move after he shoots and before the ball hits you. Oh, of course, as I said uh, a couple of times. He's got the wheel, the arms, and have the rectangular shape to him. Bruma is not meta done. Yeah, he's trying way too hard, isn't he? Still slaps, the soundtrack. Gotta be set, it slaps, it actually slaps. Okay, we'll go over here. And as soon as he fires it, Okay, we got hit by that, unfortunately. I'm trying to find like the sweet spot where you kind of like bounce it. Cause you gotta, as soon as he fires it, you gotta backtrack a little bit and then you gotta move. What? Okay, we were actually moving in the opposite direction. I don't understand why it's just bouncing back towards him on a flat surface. What if we don't move? What if we don't move at all? It still bounces back. Okay, so when we're moving towards it, it bounces back. We have to move away from it then. We have, to, we have to move away from the ball as it's firing, so we have to kind of like bisect inwards, which again, doesn't make any sense. Okay, that hit us apparently. We didn't take any damage though, hilariously. Okay, I'll try this again. We'll get that exclamation mark. Okay, there you go. You can see that I was moving, right? Let it shoot at the middle, then move so it hits the edge of the lid. But that's exactly what I have been doing. We're allowing it to uh, basically bump off of the areas. I just don't think it's got anything to do with the edge of anything, right? Let's see. Oh, it's the, it's, that's exactly it. Okay, thanks, Overdrive. That's exactly it. Seriously, I am reaching unheard levels of ticked. Level seven at least. Your fault. Axis seems to be on edge. It's probably because we're about to gun him down in cold blood. We do no damage. It does not matter. What? Oh, okay. Oh, the controls for this are so disgusting. I hate this. Yuck. You feel the furnace as heat waves engulf you. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do as much damage as I can. Uh. Uh. Okay, got hit by one of those. He's got a couple of little drones around the place. Okay, perfect, we outlasted it. Okay, let's see if we can hit the, uh, the angle on this. Yes, beautiful. Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. All right. Blow a kazoo! Blow a kazoo! Ah, 69 damage. I love that number so much. Okay, that's cheeky as hell. I kind of like this. That's a nice attack base. Once you get the hang of the controls, it's not actually that bad, honestly. Axis seems on edge. It's probably because we're about to gun him down in cold blood, right? Nice! We got uh, four of the six centerfires. What? What has happened to me? Damage critical. Seek repairs immediately. I see. Calling Mr. Chujen, creator. Calling Mr. Chujen, creator, I need assistance. Calling Mr. Kill them! Our love increased. Okay. Screenshot on that, of course. Uh, let's see what's in this bin. What was he hiding from us? What goodies? Oh, nothing. Uh, okay, I don't feel terribly bad about that because all he did was try and kill us this whole route. Why would I feel any different? He tried to kill us. 
All right, we got Flowey right here. What do you want, you big bastard? Howdy, can you smell that? Magman steel, Muir steel. Boy, this, we're almost out of here, pal. This journey is about to pay off big time, thanks to you. See you up ahead. Okay, okay, I will see you up ahead. My dinging, my ding ding. We'll save right here. My dingle dingle. Return to the laundry room? No. Why the hell would I want to? Why would anyone want to? That's such a bad idea. Calling Donald Duck? Oh, because of the weird, like, false chord uh, screams I did. All right, we fixed the elevator. This looks like the one in the Hotlands. This actually looks like the elevator in the Hotlands. Oh, that was weird. The hell was that? Hello, frog boy. You literally just missed the best fight in the game by a long shot. I can guarantee it. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna bust out a fart in the elevator. This is the hot lands! Okay, so we are now in Undertale territory. Ish. Ding ding ding! Ugpus! Come here, flying whale! Dump your mail into my face! Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray! What can I do for you today? Mail. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is. Mail time. Do you have mail to claim? I don't know. That's up to you. You don't. What a shame. Okay. Okay. Piss off, whale. Not interested. Let's see if the boatman's there. Down here? What the hell is that thing? Club Danza. Oi, club's closed. Mr. Bellador isn't answering his phone. Sure he's always traveling, but I don't like him to miss crab hour. Oh well, the other son is just left to go searching for him. Wild night this is. I killed him. <laughs> and no one knows we killed him because there were no witnesses. He ambushed us in the middle of this weird ass rocky area. Uh, I'm going down. Okay, that was weird. Very weird. What's in here? It's locked. Music producers only. I produce music. Hey! You caught me chilling by my brand new house. That's right, just bought the sucker. I've been down in the dumps lately, so I thought it was time to move on. Do something nice for myself, you know? I highly recommend doing something nice for yourself every now and then, too. It's therapeutic. He's right. He's absolutely... Look, guys, we're, we're actually going to go ahead and just buy a house right now. <laughs> Are you doing the neutral route? Yeah, we're doing the neutral route. So, uh, pause RQ. I want to tell you something. What is an RQ? I don't know what an RQ is. What are these? Ahaha, uh -huh, no can do. Citizens aren't allowed to pass this point. We're currently under heavy spider construction, as you can see. I don't set finish until 20 or so. It is 20. What are you doing? Real quick. Oh, okay. You actually stopped to uh, define the acronym for real quick before you thought it was good to tell me the information. Gotcha, gotcha. I see how chess priorities are. Oh. Oh, I see. That is the club. Okay, gotcha. And it's closed. It's probably because we killed the owner. All right. No music here. Ugg Apartments. This was a hotel in Undertale. Chloe. Hey, pal. Ah, what are you doing in this cramped alley? I think we both know this isn't the way to the castle. You do know that, right? Yeah, so let's turn around and get on with the plan. No. See, lover, come on. Is this about that letter you received in the Steamworks? It's gotta be a trap. You're seriously gonna fall for something so obvious? That bird never got you anywhere. You know who did? Me! I'm your best friend! How many times have I saved your life? Huh? All Martlet's done is put it in danger. Alright, fine. If this is what you think is worth your time, then I trust you. What else would a friend do, after all? Just don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, get ready for the real Photoshop flowey? Okay. Go back to the left area real quick. Well, like here. Why? What's in here that I've missed? There's nothing here. Just a regular wall, right? Yeah, it's just a regular wall. It's just a regular wall. Imagine it's not a trap. Okay, we'll picture that it's not a trap. And to the Ugg Apartments, I'm going to go ahead and save right here because I know that we can. Oh, howdy! We're nearing the castle now. What an eventful day. For kicks and giggles, why don't we tally up your death total? Drum roll, please! Flow is not good at that. You died five times! Wow! If I wasn't here to help, this all would have been a disaster. Maybe jumping down a chasm gung-ho wasn't the brightest idea. But hey, all's well that ends well. All right. 
Thanks, Flowey. Thank you for the grim reminder that death is real. Okay, we're going in. No, the other area with the tall dude? What tall dude? The other area with the tall dude? Oh, do you mean the uh, hotlands? You can just say where, where they are. This one, right down here, right? This guy right here? What do you want me to do? Can't let anyone inside yet. Got a crew doing renovation. So they're installing the latest music production equipment. Fancy stuff. Let's just say you're going to start hearing my hot beats everywhere. So if we had maybe the Hivers vest, we could probably get in there, right? Okay, I'm here. I'm here. What am I waiting for? What is the entire stream being held up for? So you see this area? Yes, obviously I see this area. It's right in front of me. How could I miss it? If you're about to tell me it's from Undertale, if you're about to tell me it's from Undertale, I can see that. It's where the Metaton romance part is. In here. I don't remember that. I don't remember that whatsoever. Okay, we'll continue along. Because wouldn't that mean that the lab would have to be here as well? I think we're at the wrong intersection. Okay. Yes, okay, gotcha. So, let's go through. Again, that messes with the timeline a little bit because Gaster was definitely the royal scientist before most of the humans fell down. Thus, they had Metaton to uh, do the executions for them. Okay, what's up here? I've got a bird. Bird? What's good, bird? Songry gets in the dress and sings. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got my message. Of course I got your message. That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the other ground. Okay, so Gaster is definitely... Guest has been and gone. Behind that is new home. The capital city. Yeah, Asgore's castle. Look, I haven't been 100% honest with you. My whole life, I was taught that humans are the enemy. And maybe they were right. I've been trying to get my best to act nice, but... For a while, I've sensed an alarming aura in you. I have this plan to stop your violence if needed. I'm... I'm not sure if I should. What was in that? I just can't do it. You're a good kid deep down, I'm sure of it. But truthfully, I can't allow you to visit Asgore. He only needs seven human souls to destroy the barrier. So far he's collected five, and I know he'd try for another. You would fight back as well. I'm not certain this is the right decision, but... Let's put all this behind us, end the conflict. You can come stay with me, live out a happy, violence-free childhood. You've gone through so much, more than any child should. I believe you can change for the better. What do you say? No. I understand if you're hesitant, but please, trust me. This is the best outcome for everyone. Well, roommate, let's go to Snowden. Oh no. What is this? Sea lover? I should have known. Obviously, that's Flowey. You gotta be kidding me. I just knew something like this would happen. And after all we've been through, I tried for so long. I tried to uphold a friendly persona, but wow, you really brought me to my limit. Though I gotta say, it did feel good to finally snap, you know? She never saw it coming. Best of all, she thought you betrayed her in the end. What an idiot. I bet she even... No, uh uh trigger happy, are we? I think you forgot who was in charge here. We had a nice run, didn't we? Too bad I won't miss it! So he gave us the pellets, right? He gave us the pellets to... I thought he wanted to claim all the souls from Asgore. Jesus Christ, this is actually kind of creepy. Give me more! Give me more, Flowey! Howdy! Error, I'm Sans the Skeleton. Hey there, Sans. Hmm, I should have done this earlier, huh? Oh? 
You're still holding on? So stubborn. Lighten up, little pal. You do know this didn't have to happen, right? We had a plan. A simple one. Go to Asgore! But I guess you're too stupid to follow directions. Don't know why I thought this would end any differently. This is why I like voicing Flowey so much. You've always been predictable. Oh? What do I mean? Well, but let me show you. You see, I've been watching you for a while. Gosh, what run is it? Gotta be in the hundreds. I've almost lost count. Haha. <laughs> Hello! Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I let you carry on your merry ways so many times. Oh, it's a flashback and I'm controlling it. Uh, we gotta hit this one. Oh no, my child, that is the wrong switch. <laughs> I have labeled the one you need to flip. Well, for canonicity's sake, we need to interact with that three times, but I'm not going to. It did nothing. What? Well, we never did this. You are learning so much, my child. We never did this. I watched the same childish behavior play out over and over. And over? And over. Okay, so this is where he transcends universes, right? He already understands all of the possible outcomes from the world. Sure, small decisions here and there would vary, but... The journey would always end with you ignorantly living with Toriel. I had to interfere. At first, my efforts seemed to work. Tensions rose and you left the ruins. But then, other issues crept up. Like what, puberty? No matter how many times you journeyed on. <laughs> I didn't know what I expected to happen, to be quite honest. <laughs> you always died. Okay, we're gonna hit the end of the bridge, right? No, it's just gonna lock me out of controls and we're just gonna take it right in the face. Uh, go off the ledge. Okay, fine, I'll go this way. What's gonna kill me this time? Ah, lasers. Thanks, Alphys. I had to steer you off of the path of failure as early as possible. So I tampered with the little switch and... Well, the rest is history. Okay. Thanks, Flowey. That's very benevolent of you. Oh, come on. You're still here? Of course. You're giving me exposition. I thought at least my story might bore you so much that you'd give in. Now, is he talking to us or is he talking to uh, the character? You really want to do this the hard way? All right, then. Let's have a little fun before I absorb your soul for good. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, our flesh has been stripped away. Gross. Now, remember what I taught you. Dodge the bullets. This slaps. This already slaps. This slaps so hard. Oh my god, that that sounds good. And Hot Lab, a famous remix of another medium called Medium. Nice. This was before Clover got possessed and actually had a will. One last game with your best friend. What's going on? Uh, hi, Pineapple Paradise. We are fighting Flowey in what I imagine to be a secret boss fight. Okay, let's try and... Clover would like to cry, but they have no eyes. Ooh. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 seven. Oh, I just saw the word Spooku. Clover suddenly feels like taking a nap. It's Saint Lover! Flowey, get it right. Clover is giving fighting a try. File one redacted. Okay. Missing. Don't know what the hell that's supposed to say. 537. Wait. Oh, I wrote down something uh, similar looking. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flower the Fowler. Hmm, you look confused. Toriel ought to have taught you how things work around him. File one redacted. Clover suddenly feels like taking a nap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's try act on Flowey. Uh, I'm going to persist. Recover 30% of your HP. Oh, that's out. Oh, piss off. Okay. Right, so we've got to slip through before they even move. Okay, can we fight? No, we cannot. Let's go ahead and endure. You recover 30% of your HP. I did. Whoa! Good, and I'll slip through there as well. That is probably going to be a bomb. Is he actually reloading the goddamn save? Oh, that bastard! No, he's not. He's shifting the place our heart is at. Okay, we'll go ahead and decay. Let's decay a little bit. Okay, we'll frown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is obviously not the right one. We'll forget him. Clover is giving it fighting a try. We'll forget him. Uh, items? Clover is giving fighting a try. Clover suddenly feels like taking a nap. Okay, decay. Missing. Mercy. I spear him. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh. Oh, no, now it is actually a bullet hell. A very flowy type bullet hell. Okay, Clover would like to cry, but they have no eyes. Do we just mercy him to death? Oh, hello there, flowy. The hands. This is the man who speaks in hands. Do we also the hands come up from the bottom? I love Marla. She's dead? Yeah, she's dead. She, we, we got her killed. Okay, good. Uh, so fight does nothing. That does nothing. We'll try spear him. We don't want that to hit us. Kind of don't want any of these to hit us, to be quite honest. Okay, we are taking a huge amount of damage. Almost took another one. Uh, let's go ahead and just mercy him again. Oh my God, that is such a goddamn cool design. I love that for him. Queen, you are looking so fresh, so fit. Okay, we're dead. Oh, Mutlet is dead. Yes, she is. One HP at level nine is crazy. I played tons of horror games, but this flowery guy always gives me the chills. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling as well. I spear. Oh, I actually got through that. Why are they throbbing? Why are these circles throbbing? Why is this a thing? Okay, file one redacted. I don't care. Uh, that's going to break and blow apart. I almost actually dodged all of those by sticking in a safe spot. Okay, we'll mercy him again. This is the one where we've got to slip into his little peepees. Oh, damn it. Okay, it has to be pixel perfect. It literally has to be pixel perfect. Okay, gotcha. I'll try harder. Mercy. What the hell is this? What in the 3D hell is this? Oh, we got hit once. I love that face so much. This is so cool. I love this. Okay, that is throbbing. We want to slip in there, slip in through here. Good. Uh, we took one there, unfortunately. Probably one outlast then. Good. What the hell is that? Is this supposed to be like Spamton? Whoa! These are crazy heart attacks. Okay, I'm just going to go all the way through him. There we go. Good. Okay, we'll spear him. We don't want to be hit by any of these eyes because they actually do suck. Jesus, this guy's rough. Woo! Neutral ending is the best ending, is it? Okay, I'm gonna try again. We'll spear him. Hey! Okay, we are taking every single hit possible, it seems. There we go. Uh, we wanna go in here. This one is basically impossible to dodge. No, it's not. I figured out the uh, technique. Ah, okay, so we gotta use like uh, arrow keys, I think. Whoops. No, let's not use arrow keys. Okay, let's spare him again. What the hell is this? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Okay, good. Oh, awesome. They actually just put me in really safe spots there. Good, we'll spare him again. We're not actually getting ourselves any HP generation anymore, which is a little bit of a shame, unfortunately. Whoa! What the hell is going on here? Oh, okay, we're running. We, we have time. 
We can actually move. Oh, damn it. I took that. Okay. Okay. I wasn't even standing on most of those. I wrote 200 pages about loving Martlet. That's gross. Okay. Um, where? Uh, maybe touch a little bit of grass. Whoa! The design for Flowey here is so goddamn cool. No wonder people love this game so much. Okay. Uh, 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 damn it, we took one hit. Okay, this is kind of hard to dodge, actually. We'll keep on mercying him. It's kind of annoying that we can't regenerate health uh, just by mercying him. Because health seems to be the choke point now. Okay, let's go ahead and hide. Missing. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, whisper. It smells like something. Okay, that does nothing. What about decay? Nothing. Okay, check. Your best friend. Well, is that really the case, though? Is that really who I am looking at right now? Oh, so close to slipping all of those in one go as well. Crazy. Yeah, you're telling me. Take from him. Touch grass. <laughs> okay, good. So, do we have items? No, we don't. We're going to have to just spear him a bunch of times, right? All right. Technique for this one's kind of... Yeah, okay. I've got a technique for this one. Okay, that one didn't work. Almost. We just have got to slip up and down. Okay. That does actually work wonders. Let's go ahead and try that again. A big shout out to whoever said that I should, uh... What? Have healing items. Whoops. Took that one straight to the face. Okay, good. Let's do another mercy. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we took that one, unfortunately. And we took that one. Slip out of there. Slip into here. And we're golden. Good. Okay, now we've got the eyes part. Oh, piss off, seriously. I was trying to rush this area so we wouldn't have to deal with that goddamn uh, beam of death. I love that design so much, by the way. Okay, we're going this way. We're probably going to have to dodge a bunch of holes in the ground. Good, we dodge those. Dodge those, obviously. Dodge these. This is Toriel's house, by the way. Okay, got to go all the way around here. Nice. Slip down. Good. Slip down here. So this guy seems to have Undyne's uh, uh, powers there, right? It's like he's got all of them. Also, do note that I have not one perverted comment in that document. <laughs> Stop bullying me over my love. Don't you know what true love is? Um, to love pixels is not really true love, unfortunately. Yeah, we're in a light YouTube live stream. Uh, no matter how much people shove her in existence in my face, I hate to be the one to break it to you there, Luigi YTP. Unfortunately, I'm I'm sad to say that this fictional character uh, does not exist. It just doesn't exist. This isn't the final boss, really? Okay, good. Okay, slip through these little gaps right here. We gotta be real agile with this phase, it seems. We can kinda ride iframes as well. Okay, lost a little bit there. Never seen this phase before. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting way worse. It's, be it's becoming significantly worse. Okay, good. I didn't get a single hit in that one. Okay, we'll spare him again. Uh, this one's not so bad if we just, like, slip up and down over, like, the... Oh, I took one, unfortunately. Better than taking five. Okay, took one there. Good. Excellent. And now we mercy again. This is the one with the weird-ass eyes. I'm going to rush this side so we can slip that immediately off rip. Beautiful! That's what I like to see. I like this. Okay, good. And now we're going to move... I love how this also drains our HP. Okay, we're going to be really, really conservative with when we are actually in the zones. I wasn't in any of the... Okay, that one boxed me in. Excellent. We'll come around here, come through there. We are now the children of the corn. I don't know why I took damage there. That was a little bit bollocks, I think. Okay, that one wasn't bollocks. That one was fair enough, actually. Ah. Make the PB brown. Make it brown. She's the best. Press X to run. Oh, true! I completely forgot about the run mechanic. Okay, we'll do that. Good shout. Good shout. Good shout. This one's not so bad. This one, we kind of like, we get psyoped. Okay, we got to dodge that one. Don't know how we took damage on that one. Oh, right, because we're taking damage on the hearts. We keep running into the hearts. Gotcha. I love that design so much. That is so cool. It's basically Snake. It's basically Snake. It obviously hits like an absolute truck. But it is so cool to look at. This one, uh, we got it. We can't take another hit, honestly. Yep, good. 
excellent. And slip in here, golden. Okay, we've now got the eyes. Let's. Oh, okay, I was trying to rush B. I was trying to rush B. It's profile picture PFP because they didn't want to do profile picture PP. Yes, people don't want to. People don't want to go around advertising their PP on YouTube. I don't think. Okay, get into this corner. It's whoops. It's fairly reliable. Try to be seared, except for that one right there. Okay, excellent. And we come in through here. This is the. This one's deceptively tricky, actually. Because we basically have to get our heart away from all of these ones here. Otherwise, we take damage on the hearts. Okay, good. This one's okay, I suppose. It's a l it's really fiddly, though. We're probably going to lose this almost immediately. Oh, almost. Okay, we got the eyes. I'm going to rush B again, obviously. Nice. Just immediately rush that corner. That seems to do the trick am amiably. Exactly how we want it to be. God, I love that face so much. That is such a cool little face. Okay, we are going to run. We're actually running now. I'm running. I'm running. Okay, good. We're not taking any damage on account of the running. Uh, big shout out to whoever said... Oh, this is the uh, route from Undertale. That, that was actually the trap route from Undertale. Oh. I don't care that nobody gets... I would smash Meta Flowey, not gonna lie. Beth, why? That's incredible. Flowey Frill, best character in all of the Undertale fan games. I fully agree, actually. I fully agree. So much Beth's last attempt. Beth what? You heard me? Okay, Beth is coming in with a with a very, very aggressive statement, which is that she would sleep with this uh, violent flower. This incredibly violent flower. She would drink the acid. Beth would drink the acid. Drink, Beth would drink that H2O like it was going out of style. Okay, good. So, stay in this corner. Come up here. Damn it. Just whiffed it. Okay. Stay in this corner. Seems to be safe right at the end. We lost all of our health right then. Okay, we've hit this here phase, which is actually very, very difficult to get through. Yep, almost impossible, one would say, to not get hit through that. Oh, well. We'll try again. At least I have a big shout out in my name. What, for Luigi, who is also a fictional character? Alejandro El Parslin Arslan, save Roblox, Yasak Landy Bazim, Ulk Migskids, Sanzelinson. Okay, fine. Clover would like to cry, but they have no energy. Whew. Okay. These are like temporary flowers as well, by the way. Yep, we took that damage. Absolutely with that. Good, and we'll get through that. Nice, okay, that one's not so bad. This one, kind of rough. Kind of rough, actually. Ah, there is a technique to it. Yeah, there is a technique to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll go through into here, which is literally just dexterity. The pulsating is not the best thing in the world, gotta be said. Excellent, made it through. Go, chair! Okay, rush this corner, rush B, and then we get around here, excellent. And then we just dodge all of these other little doohickeys here. Great. Okay, we've got quite a bit of HP. Let's go ahead and just run. We'll sprint through here. I don't know this area too well, so uh, maybe we may get caught with that pants down. We may not. Very skinny platforms, I do not like. I do not like skinny platforms, Sam I am. Oh, that was so close actually. Oh, that one was close too. Good, I baited him into that one. Oh, oh, damn it. We had to take that one. We didn't have a choice. Excellent. Go through this catwalk. Okay, go around here. Oh, that's so close. Oh, oh come off it. Running through the tentacles also counts, apparently. Okay, we've saved with almost no health. That sucks. I'm going to go ahead and mercy him again. All right, this one is fair enough. Uh, you just got to kind of like know where to be in advance, right? Oh, we restored our health. Great. Okay, great. Done. We got through one little phase, I think. This one, not so bad if you just kind of hug onto the side. Well, oh, we took one, unfortunately. Okay, we took that one too. Didn't have a choice in the matter. Took that one as well. Good. All right. This one, almost impossible. I'm going to start in this corner and see if we can't kind of like bait them along sideways, or downwards. Where the hell would I go if I was to do this organically? Okay, good. What the hell? 
Oh, so we dodged those this time because the mechanic that was already pre-established was that we got to hit A when they hit the bottom. Ooh. Make more sense? What's wrong with being freaky? Uh, because you're on YouTube and you're pushing it onto a bunch of children. I am Turkish. That would explain the accent, the uh, the language I'd never seen before. I asked Martlet Sims. Hate. What the hell are you guys doing in chat? Guys, come on, don't fight. There is literally no reason for it and you get muted, which is not a good thing. Okay, good. Oh, I took that one. Oops, took that one too. I'm still trying the little stick flick trick. Oh, so close. All right, we'll try again. Uh, this one, oh, I remember this one actually. We've got to go all the way into the corners to avoid actually being hit by them in the first place. Yeah, so that one's got a technique as well. It's very uncommon though. That one breaks apart. These two break apart. Got to go around here. Nice. Got hit by that one. Go into this corner and we are fine. Done. And we spear. Okay, so we don't want to get hit by these, right? Okay. Whoops, I got hit by one, unfortunately. Ah, so they found something that hit you again. Smells like Esriel. Gross. What the hell is this? Ah! What got me? Okay, let's go ahead and mercy, spear this guy. And we'll keep on going on. Okay, we need a better timing strategy for this. I think I found it, I, th I think I found it. I'm just gonna stop arguing, this is getting weird. No, everybody, everybody keep on piling on. Yeah, 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 get, get, everybody, everybody get on Luigi YTP. Get her, get her to say the cringe for the video. <laughs> Everybody get that cringe out there. That super, that super cringe vibe where everybody's in love with video game characters. God, I thought we outgrew that in like 2005 or so. My bad. My bad. Well, maybe not 2005, but most certainly 2015. Okay. Uh, we took every single hit in that one that we shouldn't have. Okay, this is the rough one. Come down here, go into the middle, slip downwards. Yep. Hit, take that hit, go into this corner, and we should be safe. Good. Done. But I liked and subscribed. Yeah, but you're being cringe! <laughs> How can I do this to me? It's really easy. It's the cringe. It's the levels of cringe. Okay, we're gonna spear. Hopefully we're just gonna kind of like subway surf our way around these little doohickeys here. I wonder if we could just like stay in the middle of these and it wouldn't hit us. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. We'll spear this time. Whoa. I'm going up. I'm going, okay, it's the shock wave that kills us. Is that a one hit? Is that actually a one hit? I gave good advice. Okay, I'll give you that one. You did actually give good advice. We should have been sprinting. Uh, tell me how to get around this one. This one's revolting. This one's revolting to deal with. It feels like another just timing puzzle. Because it doesn't matter where you go. You just kind of box yourself into a corner. Actually, I did see they were circling circles. So maybe there's a point at which they just stop following you and they just start circling. Okay, maybe they are like tendrils. Okay, we'll come to this corner. Good, we go up there. Oop, that did not do what I wanted it to. And we stay here. Good, done. Uh, this one, tricky, tricky this one. It, it, it is tricky, it, it's got, it, you need to be pixel perfect essentially. Okay. Oh, Clover would like to cry, but they have no eyes. Ah, well, sucks to be her. Womp womp. Oh, if we stay in these sideways ones, then we don't take any bounce back. That's also good to know. Clover is giving fighting a try. Is she though? Whoa! Is that death? We got to basically, oh, come on. We were boxed into that one. We were boxed into that one. Ugh. I just wanted appreciation for writing 200 pages. Yet, yeah, yeah, life is not like that. You're never actually going to get validation from achieving something that's important to yourself. All you're going to get is um, basically people calling you cringe for being cringe. Basically as simple as that. Okay, this corner is pretty fine. Come up here. We need to find safe spots during this phase because it's always the same. Mercy, we'll spear him. This one is just infuriating, honestly. Okay, uh... I'm doing some dodging. We're dodging all of Flowey's little tears. Womp womp. Okay, what next? Uh, the circles, so we gotta basically slip through the cracks before the circles start moving. Ah, uh, that was way too late. 
Flip suddenly feels like taking a nap. Does she? Okay, we're up to this one again. I actually kind of like this one. This one's okay. Good. Oh, we got hit by that little green one. Bugger! Bugger! Okay, we'll come in here. Bombs! No! Oh, damn it. We took that one right to the face as well, unfortunately. We're very, very close to another area. Oh, we got really lucky with those shockwaves, too. Okay, well, Spear, what the hell is going on in here? I've never seen this one. I've never seen that one. Oh, my God. Whew. Okay, here's some new rules for chat, right? Let's stop bullying Luigi YTP for being cringe, right? We'll just allow her to, to be cringe on her own volition. But alternatively, second rule that applies exclusively to Luigi YTP, please do not profess your love for virtual video game characters on the stream. How does that sound? What do we think? What do we think? Is that is that good? I feel I feel like that's fair enough, honestly. Okay, Clover is giving fighting a try. Let's go ahead and spin. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Well, I've never seen that one before. Fine? Excellent! Okay. Good, alright. That's what I like to see, because I don't want to have to start muting people. That's that's usually no fun for anybody. Okay, good. And it also interrupts the stream when I have to do it because I don't have any moderators. I run the channel all by myself. Okay, good. What feels like taking a nap? This is tricky. Okay, I'm going to slip into that gap right there. Slip into this one right there. Good. And I'm going to go down here. Excellent. Great. And nice. What suddenly feels like taking a nap? We can probably actually just run those attack sequences in circles, right? Oh, that was so close. Okay, I'm going to stay up in this corner. And we shouldn't take another one. Good, done. And now for the little rhythm game, which is not as hard as I would really give credit to. You just gotta be out of the way when the side ones come down, essentially. Okay, good. Uh, we're getting bombed. All right, that was unlucky. That was really unlucky, actually. Ah, ah, the thumb bombs at me. What character is this even supposed to be? I haven't seen that attack set in the game. All right, so this one's the one where it just slams downwards. Bottom left corner is where it's safest. Good. Mercy. So this one's the one where we've got to, got to like, slip around, right? Okay, it doesn't matter where we are, we just got to slip. Whoa, okay. I'm slipping. Nice. Okay, good, we made it. Let's see if we can't dodge all of these horrid little spikes. Wah, wah. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was so close. You can heal with axe? Yeah, but most of the axe don't work after a wee while, unfortunately. You're looking for a moderator? I am open to it. No, I'm, I'm not getting a single moderator on this channel unless I really trust them. So it's got to be a dear friend of mine. Pick and draw and act? Okay. Uh, we've got hide, decay, and weep. Which one of those heals us? Weep doesn't do anything. Does decay do anything? Decay does nothing. What about hiding? No, hiding does nothing. There you go. So... We check the axe every time, right? Is, is that what you're telling me? We just check whether or not the uh, right one's supposed to be there each time? Yeah, none, obviously. Obviously, we can't progress. Hey there, Matsu. Master's chest, YouTube? Spear? Sometimes you don't get a heal, but it's worth checking. Okay, we'll start checking. We'll start checking anyway. It might, it might just be good regardless to start checking. Okay, I'm gonna slip up here, slip down here. Nice. Oh, I took that one straight to the face. Good. All right, uh, this one here is the fiddly pixel perfect one. Good. The glitch effect may actually makes it really, really hard to figure out which one of these is the gap as well. Okay, we took a lot in there. Okay, we've got Endure. Done. Recover 30% of your HP. Good shout, guys. We wouldn't have survived this phase without that. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, bait into circles around the board. We're obviously going to have to take up uh, a couple of hits for it, but it doesn't seem to be that bad. X. Persist! That one looks good. Okay, we've got our uh, HP back up again. That is a really good shout. I can't believe I was getting to the next phases, though, without that little technique. Whoops. We took that one, unfortunately. We should have just face tanked it. We had the, we had the health. Okay, uh, persist again. Done. 30% of your HP? Yes, please, buddy old pal. This actually does kind of... It reminds me a lot of the Undertale Flowey. Okay, get away from that shockwave. Good. Done. Uh, forget? No, there's none there. We'll spare him. Okay, we've got to go down to the bottom left-hand corner because of all those feet. Nice. Done. Uh, we'll spare him again. Oh, this one is kind of rough. Oh. But we do have HP. 
I thought the game was actually going to be so unfair as to just not give us a single way of getting HP back. Okay, we're going to sprint through here. I'm going to sprint through here. Hope we get lucky. Nice. Nice. There's going to be spikes coming up, I think. Oh, that was close. Uh, wait for those to dissipate. Yep, good. Get away from those ones. Not get hit by those. Sunk cost fallacy. We're running through them. Jesus, this is a hell of a maze. Oh my god. Oh, thank god it's not actually a maze. Good, we made it to the first save point. Good. Uh, I'm going to spear Lowy. I'm going to use my little jiggle technique. The little jiggle technique. Okay. Almost got it. Oh, so close. We just got hit by that last one. Oh, we got it on that one. Nice. Okay. No mercy. We'll go ahead and hope. Recover 30% of your HP. Nice. This design for Flowey is so cool, by the way. I absolutely love this so much. It's like if um, Undertale was written by Junji Ito. Okay, let's go ahead and spear him because I wasn't looking. Okay, we're probably going to take a couple of hits in this one. I'm just going to get into my favorite position anyway. Woo! This is a neutral run. Yes. Uh... Okay, uh, save points, save your progress in the fight. Excellent, I love watching people play this game. Awesome, Master Chess YouTube. Flowey attack is so awesome. Yeah, the attacks are awesome, but the actual like design of the creature itself is nothing short of the genius that made Silent Hill so famous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try for some, maybe bleed? No, that's not useful. We have to mercy him. Oh, we just got grabbed. Oh yeah, I hate these attacks so much. Actually, it's not so bad. It's not so bad once you kind of like, get the hang of it but it is such a disgustingly controlled area okay we'll act with some stress no does weeping work probably not no okay we'll just mercy okay good next phase baby next phase baby There's bombs going off all over the place holy hell ah ice ice everywhere oh my god is this what it's like to be famous ah oh, nice what i slipped through Okay, I laughed in my second playthrough because I found out how easy clay is. Okay, I won't read that. Let's try for another mercy. All right, I'm gonna try my little slipping technique here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It works. It actually works. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I whiffed that last one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so close. Okay, I'm gonna try for... No, can't get any health regeneration. I love how we had the option to weep and here... Cr here yeah, crybaby Flowey is crying his fucking balls off. Sorry, I said a cuss word. That was probably the first time I've done that in months. Clover would like to cry, but they have no eyes. All right, we'll spear him. Spear me! All right, whoops. <laughs> okay. We took every single hit possible in that one, I think. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky. Let's try for some health regen. Weaken? Nope. Okay, what about weep? Nah, nothing. Okay, no health regen. Spear me! This one's not too bad. We can kind of get this one. It's a little bit obnoxious. So it used to be when I was playing these kind of like mini games that if you just hold it in the direction, the character would just swivel, swivel around there, right? Okay, we'll try for some health. Uh, we don't have any health whatsoever. Hide? No, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, we'll try for mercy. We probably actually lost it on this one, unfortunately, but Failure is still discovery. That is the most important quote Einstein ever put forward. Failure is still discovery. Even failure can give you knowledge. I like the distortion of best friends forever. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay, we'll go ahead and just mercy him. I like his attack sets as well. They're actually kind of fun. This guy's just as fun as I found Jevil to be. Jevil was also really fun in the exact same way that this guy is. Okay, good. Didn't take a single hit on that one. Uh, this one's probably not going to be the same case. Probably want to just stay in this corner, right? We'll just face tank every hit. Yeah, we'll be fine. You can do this? Yeah, exactly. Man on the internet made a good cover of this fight. Is there actually a man on the internet? Okay, persist. Good, nice. We got some health regen. We'll try our little uh, up and down technique. Oh, nice. Almost got it. Got it. Nice. And this one here. We're being a little bit too gung-ho with our movement, I think. Endure! Grab 30% of your HP. Yeah, baby! Grab me! Grab me, Daddy Flowey! Grab me right on my heart! There you go, someone wrote a fanfic about that. The flower who stole my heart. 
<laughs> That'd actually be really funny. There's a fanfic about uh, like a love story between between Flowey and a and a child, an actual minor. And Flowey's just like catfishing her so he can steal her salt. That'd be such a good story. Someone someone fanfic that. Okay, I'm gonna try for mercy because I got full health. We're gonna dodge all of these little love pellets. That's what they're called, I think. Love. Love pellets. Nice. Okay, we gotta dodge the watchful gaze of Flowey. And now we just slip through these ones. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's run. Let's run. Let's avoid the tentacles. Because they are not cash money. Oh, there was no way in hell we could get away from that. Okay, good. Nice. This is, in fact, the stuff I like to see. This is exactly what the thing in which I am currently referring to talking about. Oh, piss off, seriously. That one was so unfair. Okay, we went the wrong way. That's fine. We can slip around these. Okay, that was kind of weird. Oop, took that one straight to the face. And took that one to the face because we got stuck on the geometry. A little bit of a suck right there. Nice. Made it. Good. Okay. All right, flower. Oh, Really? More? Okay. Sure. If you insist, I would love to. Ah, we are running through all of the different realities, which is, I think, Flowey's thing, right? Wait, are we escaping him? Do we do it? Is this it? Okay, my phone's alarm is going off too. I gotta stop that. Clover? Where did you go, buddy? GET BACK HERE! Woo! This is endless suffering. This is fun! This is re that was a really fun sequence of fights. I didn't even mind that we were losing over and over again. Oh, is that supposed to be Flowey's corpse? Uh, hello? Where am I? Mom? Dad? Help me. Oh, these are kind of like the, uh, please help me. Okay, so these are kind of like the stages of Flowey's life, right? If I was to interpret this from a theory crafting perspective. I feel like maybe we're coming across all of the stages of life that Flowey went through when he was first alive. And he eventually had to kind of like kill off the bits of him that made him kind and reasonable. Nothing. Okay. Useless. Yeah, these are his insecurities that he just kind of squished down to become a gigantic monster. Huh? Ah. I don't get it. I don't get what's so funny. Uh, hello? Could this be it? Ah. It must be. Yes. It has to be. It must be. It must be. Creepy! Okay, we're in a different area now. Oh, I just got hijacked. Ooh. Balls? No thank you, Leviticus Lila. I've got enough. That laugh was not fitting. Yeah, uh, he doesn't know how to laugh properly. He never learned. What have I done? Oh, I thought we were breaking into a dance sequence for a second. <laughs> Still in the running, man. Get it out of the system right before the next fight. Uh, okay, we're in Snowden. Or, no, we can't sprint. So we're kind of like at what well, looks like Snowden, I would say. Don't worry, there's more? Great. Basically, when Flower woke up as a flower, he was alone and scared, and the corpse-looking things were his attempts at seppuku. How the hell would he have committed seppuku if he doesn't have arms? He's literally armless. I feel like... I don't necessarily feel as though it would be seppuku so much as those are the kind of, like, elements of his personality that were more kind, right? Because now it's just a, a shameless sociopath who kind of, like, uses people to get his way. Vineside? Master Chess, sh shut up. Why? What's, what's Master Chess saying? Sea lover? Sea lover? It is you! I can't believe it! 
come here? Oh, that's sweet. I was so scared. This place. It's Snowden, right? It sure looks like it. I have the slightest clue what's going on here. The last thing I remember was us talking on that rooftop. Oh yeah, we are going to my house, and then I was impaled by a gigantic spike from Evil Dead 1. I don't quite know where it is from here, but we'll search together for my house. I'm so happy I found you. So happy I found you. I found you. Oh, cool! Cool! I found you! Can I interact with this? Can I have some, can I eat some? Do I have a menu? No, I don't. Can I eat some from this side? Why can't I eat the bird? What the hell? I am human. It's, it's one of our traits, right? Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to read chat. I'm, uh, there's not going to be any spoilers. Get on. Well, the hell else am I going to do? We're going into the darkness. We are in the dark depths. What are we sailing on? Probably crude oil. We've entered the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> I know what year it was now. It's 2011. Was that, was that when BP had that huge oil spill? I actually adore this, by the way. This is such cool creature design. Oh, that is terrifying. Howdy! Have fun with your friend back there? Ah ha ha! Thought you slipped away for a second, didn't ya? You're quite a vigilant one! Bet you could have outlasted Asgore if you'd bothered to reach him! Even though your choices in this timeline are useless to me now, I didn't outright hate our time together. Not all of it. Two lost souls deciding who lives or dies. Most of the time you're insufferable, but when you gave in, gave in to your true violent urges, that was the best part. That's when I know you had it in you to fight the king. But that was so long ago. <laughs> Just look at you now. Barely recognizable. You know, some say yellow is the color of justice. No one says that. Close, but that's the, not the word I would choose. It's the color of piss. Yellow is the color of judgment. Consequence. You would know, wouldn't you? Ah, uh, you're right. Who cares about all of that? Life's all about the thrill. How fun your experiences are. Our time here has been way better than any interaction out there, and I'm not looking for it to end anytime soon. Of course, it can't last forever! After I overtake your soul, while kill Asgore! While absorb all of those poor children you couldn't save! Then, and only then, I will become good! But for now, this is only the beginning, so please... Resist. Let's entertain each other a while longer. After all, in this world, it's kill or be killed! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Very few people will get that reference. So few people will get that reference. I guarantee no one in chat gets the reference that I just made right there. Oh, that is cool! I love this so much. Alright. Alright, he's creepy again! This is so cool. So is this supposed to be like an interpretation of true flowey? Whoa, okay. Sure. What in pisses name am I dealing with? Oh, I'm still stuck to the bottom of the screen. Hey, get away from me, thing! Goddamn salad looking salad fingers looking asshole! Okay, I'll stay in here. Oh. Okay, those are like Mario things, right? Super Super Mario? Oh, come on. Whoa! That was close. All right. He's grabbed me with his vines. Okay, good. Oh, I figured that, that mechanic so quickly. What in? Okay, we've got G 
Jibble Flowey all of a sudden. Oh, this is so cool! Alright, good. Nice! We did it with a sliver of health as well. Nice! It's got a little bit of health there as well. Okay, that's gonna be a plus. I know that because I played Undertale, which was not much of an underfail on account of us having beaten it. Oh, the guns! Oh, the guns! Oh, the guns got me good! This is so cool, by the way. I fight this so hard. Is this better than Undertale? Oh, here we go! Alright, what have we got left? I want to go with that golden one. Boop, that one there. Nice. What is this one? This is nightmarishly terrifying. What am I supposed to be shooting at? Probably the paper planes, right? Oh my god, there's paper planes everywhere. Okay, we gotta hit that red thing, right? Ah, oh, I can't take another hit! If I take another hit, we are toast! We are bagel! Nice! Give me my health! I deserve it! He just shot me as soon as I got my health back. You dick! Flowey is actually a dick. Oh my god, this is by definition a bullet hell, by the way. Oh, we took that one straight to the face, unfortunately. Oh! Great. I'm gonna go under those. He's waving! Hey there! Okay, we got another one of these little things that follow us around. Excellent. Okay. We didn't take a single hit in that one. Great. Uh, I want the red tongue, please. Yes. I'm getting into the um, try-hard position as well. A lot of people call it the confession pose. Where you have your arms. Oh, okay. This is... Okay, we've destroyed his tongue. Oh, sorry, Flowey's tongue. Oh, poor baby. Womp womp. Womp womp. Nice. Okay, I'm not going to get hit by those things. I'm not going to get hit by these. We just got hit by the hands. Okay, that hurts a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, I just got smacked by the hand. Damn, that was close. Oh, okay. This might be where we kind of like lose our marbles, right? Whoa, that thing is really potent. Ow. Yep, we took that one straight to the dome. Uh, but we, we we carried it through. We actually did it. Okay, boom. I want that one. What is that one? Okay, we got hit by that one, obviously. <laughs> do we save any of that progress, or do we have to start from, like, flat neutral? I think, I think we start right from the start again, right? But now that we roughly know the attack sets, it's not going to be so bad. Okay, good. The hand's probably going to come in soon. I'm going to slip in underneath this. Get away from those things. Okay, we took one hit. Let's not get hit by that, obviously. Oh, guns! I hate guns! No, I love guns. I love guns. Guns are friend. Get away from me, horse. Oh, that horse just shot me. Okay. No, I'm in the wrong place. Okay, good. I just got saved by the bell. Oh, my God. Oh, progress. We actually made progress. What was this one? This one might be the guns. Yeah, this is definitely the guns. Okay. Whoa, okay. I love this so much! Whoa. Okay. You've got to watch out for the, all the guns. Oh, piss. Oh, so close. Don't stop me now. I'm shooting such a good shot. I'm having a ball. Good. Awesome. We got a little bit of HP back. I love this so much, by the way. I am vibing this so hard. This is so cool. All right, good. Now, this is what I wanted when I said I want to play Undertale Yellow. Right, this is what I was expecting. I was expecting this kind of gameplay. Good, we've got another one. We survived this one, it should save, right? I'm gonna go for the tongue. Good, I like this one, I like this one. This one's fairly easy, it should be the, yeah, it's a, it's a red blood cells. Also known as oo sites. Did everybody know that? Did everybody know that red blood cells are called oo sites? Which is really funny, because when you study red blood cells, you are an oo Right, good, we did it. Nice. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, guns are easy to dodge. A lot of guns, actually. I'm going to slip through this right here. Let's get out of the line of fire from those things. Let's not be hit by that as well. Uh-oh. Bad spot. No, good spot. Nice. Are we going to take damage in this phase? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, we did not. Nice. Okay, we got this one here next. Great. Thank you, Flowey. Hey, this is cool. Is this Jevil? Is this supposed to be like Jevil? What the hell? He's throwing biological material at me. What a guy. Okay. I got hit by that, unfortunately. 
Is this supposed to be like Megalovania? Okay, I just ignored damage and we just went after him, which actually did function very well. Uh, that's, we're in the line fight. That was so close. Okay, we got the waves coming in hot and heavy. Good. What am I, a casting couch? Get off me. All right, good. Guns, we got guns. We also got this thing to dodge around as well. That horse is gonna chase us. There's one of them that's gonna fire a good load. And we got hit. Nice, nice. I would like to do this one, please. Thank you. All right, let's see what else we've got to go. I'm gonna fire at his testicles. You know, his nuts, his knackers that are actually firing from a, what the hell is that? Oh my God. This one's the worst of them. Okay, we gotta get away from these uh, attacks, right? They are rough. Oh, sorry, Flowey. I didn't realize I upset you so badly. Why are there these things coming out of you? Oh, we can charge them up. Okay, we took that hit, unfortunately. We almost got him. We almost got him. We actually almost got him down in that one go. I didn't realize that we could actually charge up our attacks. That is really good to know. We are gonna start doing that. All right. Don't wanna be hit by those, but we didn't really have a choice. There was no way we could have gone. Okay, good. Don't wanna be hit by these little Mario Watsma dingles here. Okay, good. We got one horse that's about to fire his load off. I'm gonna go over these little cell things here. I just got hand shaped to, to pain. Whoa, that's a bop. Okay, don't wanna be hit by that. We're getting hit by everything, unfortunately, which is not amazing. Saved by the bell. Excellent. Okay, let's do that hard one first, I think. That one. Now that I know we can actually charge up the attacks. Okay, good. Good. Okay, it penetrates. Okay, we gotta wait for the little dig. And we are in a pretty damn good spot, honestly. Good. Good. Whoa. Okay, dodge all of that. Dodge all of that. Good. Good. Dodge all of this. Yes. Yes, sir. Ray! Yes, friends. Yes, friends. Yes, friends. Okay, we took a little bit of damage there. But yes! Nice! Okay, so we took a little bit of damage, which is absolutely fine. We got our health back. I love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. You want more of it. You, you want to see all of that. You want to see all of that good stuff. Hands. They're a little bit spammy, but they're reasonably simple, honestly. Okay, don't want to be hit by those things there. Okay, let's not get... Oh, there's another one coming into the field. Good, saved by the bell. Excellent. Good. This one next. The last one. This one's not so bad, actually. This one we can do. This one we can definitely do. Nice. I think we actually just blew one of his limbs off in one go. Okay, next one's blue. Good. Got to move through that. Got to move through that. Unfortunately, we didn't. Oh, piss off. It was just about to land the last hit. It was so close. Ah, oh, so close indeed. All right. Once more into the breach. This will be the one, by the way. This will be the one. So Flowey is just boring? Hell no, he's not. Flowey's fun as hell. Flowey's so fun. I don't know how anybody could disagree with that. Flowey is actually an objectively good boss. And it's satisfying. He's always been a satisfying fight. He never kind of like lies about the rules or anything like that. It's always what you're exactly presented with. It's just a little bit spammy that what most people are generally used to. So Flowey is fairly reasonable. Okay, we'll do the hard one first. This one, please. Nice. Whew. Okay. We gotta focus on dodging these little guys here. Oh, we can get all of his nuts right off of his throat. Okay, we didn't focus on dodging a single thing there. Excellent, got that one. And I'll keep trying to dodge as best as I can. Okay, we gotta go through those. Gotta kill that thing. Okay, we took that uh, blue arrow right to the chest, unfortunately. Ooh. That's okay. Once more into the breach. Over our dead bodies. <laughs> You guys are rough. Uh, I should also point out now that Sans is definitely not trash. Sans is actually the entire story of Undertale. I got a, I got a game theory coming out later. I probably shouldn't be talking about it now that I'm massively distracted. I already cussed once. I already said a, a bad, naughty word. And I know I've got a young audience. Or at least some of the people on my audience are young. I feel like I've got a responsibility to at least stop them from you know, hearing a bunch of bad words in the living room with their parents and stuff like that. Okay. We need to wait for the dings. Damn, this is a potent attack. 
I don't know what hit me though. Why has he got nuts on his on his chin? What is he, Peter Griffin? Oh damn, I didn't see that big blue thing there. Okay, get rid of whatever that thing is. We are very, very close to killing him, and this should be it. Oh my god, we almost just bit the dust on that one. Okay, okay, that one was gonna kill him as well. That one hit was going to kill him, and we just whiffed it in transit. Sans is not God, Flowey is. Yeah, but Sans is the entire story. I, again, like, I can't talk about the game theory until it comes out. But essentially what has happened is the entire, like, YouTube community of Undertale got the all of the uh, kind of, like, lore of the game wrong. Like, it's flat out wrong. Approvably wrong as well. Very easy to prove that it's wrong. All right, let's get away from this thing. Doesn't really matter if we take a couple of licks in this phase, because we're about to go into a fairly easy area. Okay, if I'd known that we were down to the two hardest areas, I probably would have set one of these as an earlier round. Okay. Fire off some of these knackers. Get some of these nuts off his chin. All right, Flowey's, Flowey is going full Ligma mode. Full Ligma and Sugma. Look at him. Look at him with this Ligma ass attitude. He's got this, like, Ligma face all over him. Okay, that's the, this, the, this is the one. This is the one. No, it's not. This is the one. Got him! Okay, we got a little bit of health. That's gonna give us some breathing room. This attack right off rip is probably a little bit unfair. Okay, we got the tentacles. We didn't take a single hit just then. Awesome. That's what I like to see. Whoa! Okay, we actually just got hit by one of the Super Mario things and a tentacle. That's not amazing. Probably not in a great spot anymore, but we can still dodge pretty well. Okay, saved by the bell. This may be the one. We've got minimal health. But I feel like we may be able to do this one in this one run here. Okay, good. Whoa! Hey! Okay, good. We don't... Oh, come on, I... I wasn't moving. Oh, I should have been moving through that. That was my fault, that one. Whew. Hit dash to dodge? What is the dash button? I've never done that in any Undertale game. Flowey's not Ligma, bro. He is very Sigma. Well, Sigma is just a mixture of Ligma and Sugma. So, I don't know about you. I, I feel like he's he's probably a little bit Ligma. He's probably a bit m more Ligma than Sugma, though. Like, if I was to be completely fair, more Ligma than Sugma. Okay, we took that one straight to the face. Bunch of balls all over the place. We took a ball to the face, unfortunately, as well. Get away from these goddamn Mario pots. Okay, so if we don't take a hit in the next area, maybe I'll just do the easy one first, and then we'll go for the hard one. We'll see what kind of health pool we have after this phase. But, all right, good. I feel like this little thorn just dissipated. Okay. Okay. Good. That didn't work. I, was, I wasn't even looking at the... Oh, I wasn't even looking at the thorns. I just busted my load anyway. still arguing about characters in Undertale. I thought we were past that. Okay, I took that hit, unfortunately. Keep on going around here. All right, that's not gonna hit us. Come on, we all, we all know that. We all, okay, that one's gonna hit us a couple of times, actually. Oh no, this isn't good. All right, we got hit by those tentacles. Saved by the bell again. We can actually get through the easy one pretty, pretty well. I think it's this one. This one's probably the easier one. Because all we have to do is focus on the thorns, right? Okay, good. I'm coming all the way this way. Nice. Okay, I thought I was still moving, but I actually wasn't. I was moving! What are you doing, game? Okay, fine. We, I, I was hoping we would actually land that hit on that one thorn right there. All right, good. Let's come on through. Okay, I'm gonna start try-harding, which might mean I go quiet for a few seconds every now and then, but it seems like this is actually the time and place to be try-harding. My God, that those vines hit like a truck. Okay, we don't wanna be hit by any of those. Good, uh, we still get hit by those vines getting away from the vines, unfortunately. 
We could have gone the other direction, but that's where the horse was, so we would have taken the hit regardless. That one, please. Thank you, Flowey. Thank you. All right. Boom. I actually, I don't feel like the... I feel like maybe just using the consistent shot is probably best. Okay, we're going to take a hit from that regardless. Okay, good. Yeah, it seems like actually just randomly firing rapidly is, is the way. We just took so much damage after getting all of that health back. That sucked so bad. Okay, got hit there by something as well. Got a couple of horsies down here. Everything's shooting at us. Okay, is this the last one? This might be the last one. Nope, we still got one of those gigantic annoyances here. Okay, saved by the bell again. I think rapid... No, we actually do need to kind of like charge up the attacks for this one here. We just need to dodge the bullets that are coming at us from all flanks, I think. Okay, good. That was a good shot right there. So there are shots coming from top and bottom, which we do need to be very, very cautious of. Okay, good. This one's going to off some bullets. Excellent. And we got to watch out for these blues right here. Whoa, damn, that was close. We almost got hit by that. Excellent. Okay, we got him. Nice. More health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm taking every single hit humanly possible. Damn it, they sent another one of these goddamn harassing mind things uh, towards us. And we died because of it. Woo. Okay. Flowey's laughing. Okay, nobody do anything that would be perceived as uh, would annoy me or I'm going to start muting people because it seems like you guys can't actually be trusted to just chat uh, amongst yourselves without offending each other. How does that sound? I'm going to start banning and muting people. I'm not joking either. It's going to like interrupt the stream. Everyone's going to have to wait for you guys to get banned and muted. Everyone's going to get real pissed off with it. Okay, get around that. Excellent. Oh, okay, we took that last little hand pallet, unfortunately. Whoop. Slip that. Really? This is the last one? Well, that was kind of flowy. No more? Okay, here we go. We got one of these harassing mines again. These things suck. These things actually suck. Okay, good. Hey! Whoa. Oh, is this it? Hey! Hey! Don't do that! Just give up! His eyes are following us around the board. What is wrong with you? Well, that was a weak shot. Come on, Flowey. Ew. What are you going to do? Pollinate me? Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, he's looking at me, the gamer. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Useless. Even now. All of it. I can't believe I thought this run might be it. It's no wonder we make a good team. You're a lot like me in a way. Too stubborn to lie down and accept your situation. Too determined. You're so annoying. <laughs> I thought this would be fun, and I suppose it was. For a moment. But I'm over it now. I don't think either of us feel like fighting for all of eternity, so... I'll cut you a deal. I could keep going. I could literally keep going against this dickhead here. I'm going to reset, back to when you first arrived. Of course, you probably won't remember this. We can be pals all over again. Reunited. If we end up in the same spot, I may try this again, but... If you can remember anything from right now, try to make different decisions next time. There's a better timeline out there for both of us. Not that I care about you. This outcome just sucks. It was all in my mind. No one could see it. It wasn't threatening lives. Doesn't come close to what I'm truly aiming for. When I reach that goal, you'll be there to witness it. A spectacle like the world's never seen. So, when we meet again in that dingy room, you're gonna help me get what I want. Like it or not, I decide your fate now. <laughs> if only I could see your reaction to all of this. Oh, who am I kidding? Your face would only look like it always did. Ah, uh -huh. all right, all right, I'll let you go. I do need a little time to practice my intro monologue, though. Feel free to pace yourself before the big fall. See you later, Clover! What the hell?
hell are you guys doing in chat? My girlfriend dumped me. Okay, don't take it out on chat. Seriously, it's it's not good, right? It just don't do that. Also, Spamton, what are you doing? Guys, literally, what are you doing in chat? This is just conflict for the for the sake of conflict. There is no reason for it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start muting people, honestly. It sucks that it comes to this, honestly. It really does suck. I'm really disappointed in just about everybody who's a part of this. I hate this. I hate this. This is probably my least favorite part of streaming whatsoever. Now, this game was absolutely fantastic, right? It was really, really, really good. Okay, uh, time out. One whole day. There you go, Luigi. You are gone. Spamton, time out. One whole day. There you go. You both get what you deserve. Okay, how's that? Is chat looking a little bit better now? Oh, it looks so much better now. Oh, it looks so much better. That's so crisp. That's so clean. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with me for what I assume to be the neutral run, right? I, I think that was pretty final. We, we've got credits. There was in Until 1 a true pacifist ending where you get post-game, post, post game, right? But everybody here, I want to thank every single one of you people who maintained positivity in the face of that weird-ass argument while I waited to ban those people for a day. And if they come back and they do it again, that's a permanent ban. That is just a rule on my channel. I hate doing that so much, but there we go. It's the best for the channel. Master's Chest YouTube, thank you so much for your positivity. Beth, thank you so much for your positivity. Papyrus, thank you so much for your positivity. Average user, thank you so much for your positivity. Every single one of you guys, MVPs right now. You guys all deserve the very best, okay? Red Rux, yo, what's up, Red Rux? Uh, I don't get to see you much anymore. It's nice to see you. Um, thank you for maintaining positivity. Every single one of you, maintain positivity. Especially you, Alejandro, El Parzilin, Arslan. Not because you maintain positivity better than everybody else, but because I really struggle to say your name. <laughs> All right. I support you. Thank you so much. You said it wasn't one of the longest streams. It actually wasn't. We've actually done like 10-hour streams on the channel uh, quite recently, too. It's pretty crazy. Nice stream. Thank you so much. Nice you made it. And it feels really, really good, doesn't it? It feels so good to have made it all the way through here. Ah, okay. Well, it is actually quite late at night where I live, and I'm probably going to get in trouble with Yin Set if I don't uh, head away now. So, thank you, every single one of you who stuck with me through this entire journey. I am going to point you towards a playlist, a playlist that you're really going to like. Right up here, Until Yellow. Right up here, another playlist you're going to really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, for anybody watching the VODs, not for the stream people, you are going to find a link to my Discord, although the link is still there for anyone who wants to join it. You can click on it and come join me in my Discord. And until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!